Well, we are back. Huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today we got a special, special <laughs> guest. <laughs> Mr. Sean Malto. This is a long time in the making. Yeah, seriously. Yes. Let me tell you, bro. I mean, you canceled on the last one, though. No, no, no. no, no. no. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I texted you like, are we still good for Monday? No response. Ooh. I, I, yeah, but it, we locked it in. Remember? We were like, for <laughs> sure. But this we need is happening. to confirm. Yeah. Just if we don't up. confirm, oh, really? just yeah, I, th I'm I thought we all had it down. I'm I was responsible. I was on my way Monday, and next no, you weren't on, on your way. I was not on you, my you way. Te <laughs> <laughs> you texted me. We still uh, on? I'm yeah. like, uh, well, I, no. Truthfully, I forgot about it till Sunday okay. night, and I was like, okay. well, I could still do it, but you know. well, dude, you've been on like uh, the Halloween special at uh, Diamond Mine. Yeah. You were on the uh, Mountain Dew special, the Dew Tour. Yep. And now you're here. No, I need my here? own. Yeah. I think I started hitting you up when we first started this like two years ago. What? You, just wouldn't, you just wouldn't respond to my text. A hundred you know? later. Yeah. Here we are. You just wanted to come on when it was like big. I, I don't know what I, I don't know. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Hey, we're glad to have you here. Yeah. This Hell is a yeah. pleasure. Sean Malto, everybody, huh? It's one of the highest requested. Uh, we get your name a lot. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a uh, hundred people have gone, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We it's... cleared some names off the top of the but leaderboard. That's, that's but... actually crazy. That's true. true. I am, true. you know, I thank you for whoever wanted to see me on. Yeah. Do no, people tag sure. you at all on Instagram? Like, yo, we want you on the nine club. Like, we want your own episode. People ever do that to you? Um, I got a couple tags, you okay. know, but more or less it's just been friends and, and mm. people that I know. They're like, dude, wh how's it not happened? Yet? Right. Yeah. They're like <laughs> right. this, like we, uh, Chris is on chocolate. Like, I know. You, you know, these guys like what, how? And I'm I've like, I you, don't know. I've you known know? you since a green helmet. Since the green helmet. What's this green Actually, helmet? Actually, I, I haven't. I haven't known you that long. But <laughs> no, no, just, I yeah. feel like it's close. I was I going like with close. it, but I then I started to think about You're it, like, and I'm wait like, a no, no. How old? Didn't. How old were you when you ditched the green helmet? When I ditched the green helmet, I think I was 12. Okay. Funny thing about that, I ditched the green helmet and yeah. hit my head that day. You were, t uh, yeah, yeah, you were um, saying yeah. on the on the show, yeah, you threw it that up day. in the front yard, and you didn't even call your, you didn't even tell your parents. I didn't want to put the helmet. You could have died. Well, my mom was a bit of a uh, like she was really scared yeah and she was a bit of a hypochondriac okay. so like if i got a shinner and i came home i was like mom my shin hurts she made me wear shin pads <laughs> you, hel That's two awesome. weeks <laughs> helmet and shin guard yeah and a mouth guard at one point wow. yeah yeah but you're, but you... i chipped my tooth got had to wear a mouth guard yeah no way at one point i had shin guards a mouth guard and a helmet yeah <laughs> Poor kid couldn't even talk. I, I know. <laughs> I'm at like, the skate park feeling like LeBron James. Yeah, like, just Yo, what's up? Yeah. I'm back in like yeah, M mumbling Malto. It mumbling sucked. Malto. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. hard to catch a vibe with my friends. Just like, <laughs> just, right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm like whatever. Any any other type of uh, safety equipment? Um, no, that no? was it. Do you wear a cup? No, no, that would be no, funny. That would no. be. Yeah, hilarious. mom, I, you know, I pogoed and uh, I sacked, I the, sacked the rail, yeah. and I needed, uh, I needed, uh, my it's balls a hurt. Funny thing about that, when I was younger, <laughs> yeah, when I was skating boards for months at a time, I got razor tail. Mm. That um, doesn't sound good yeah. at all. And I, I was tried to smith grind a bench, mm -hmm. and I was so small that my foot slipped off, and I, I fucking pogo sticked oh. on a razor tail, right. Oh. And I was like, I when I get hurt, I take off running. Just I don't know why. <laughs> you just go. I, I just I'm like yeah. I'm gonna run this off. Yeah. And I'm just I'm like running and I'm like running around in circles and everyone's like, what's wrong with this guy? Whatever. I go into the porter potty and I'm like 13 at the time and like I like put my hand down. I'm like, oh shit. It's I, I bring back like hand filled with blood oh, oh shit and i'm like oh my god i don't i can't see what's going on i don't know what's happening mom whatever so i like i call my dad i'm like i, I split something i'm not sure what but something split like it's like i don't think it's my balls i don't know what's happening <laughs> whatever <laughs> So he comes, picks me up, and we're driving, and like we get to the doctor's office, and like they like what like, all right, let's check it out. Sure. 
pull down my pants, like lift up my balls, and I I split my taint. Oh no. my gosh! Yeah. Wow! And I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> and they're like, you're gonna need stitches. Oh, and I'm like, on, your, on ABC? I'm my on my taint, <laughs> and I'm like, this. Okay, uh, uh, all right. So they put me. <laughs> In the pregnancy chair. Oh, like the stirrups. Yeah. And, uh, okay. They put me in a pregnancy chair with like two female nurses. <laughs> I mean, you're, not, you're what? You're two thirteen. I'm thirteen, and I'm like just embarrassed as can be, <laughs> and I'm holding like my balls you're, up, right? And they put like this paper down, and then they like stitch oh. up my taint. I had to get like five stitches in my taint. So you, yeah. did you do it horizontally on your uh, taint no, or vertically? Vertically, like oh. right down the line, yeah. God, that must have been an uncomfortable couple of months or something. It actually, uh, it healed pretty quick, okay. you know, but right. it was definitely three weeks of like, and I had to go back to school because I was a kid, sure. you know, so uh, I couldn't walk right and everyone called me Waddles. Waddles. Yeah. <laughs> It, it was bad. It was embarrassing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. But even Whoa. down there, man, I mean, infections, it's, like a lot of things I could mean, happen, you know? Oh, it's good, a dirty yeah. place. If it happened now, I would be like really freaked sure. out. You know, I was right. a kid. I didn't exactly know what was going on, right. you know, but damn. Were the nurses laughing? Um, you know what? <laughs> I was just, yeah, I didn't even laughing. look. Yeah. I didn't even <laughs> look. I seriously, like I had one hand holding everything. Right. The other hand just like. <laughs> this is the most embarrassing. Like, please just be the, like, oh my God. And then I had to go for the checkups. The check, and, right. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm sure the checkup was just a doctor. Then, yeah, you know, but, but still, still. Right, right. You know. Your mom didn't freak out on that one? Well, she freaked out, but like, what are you going to do <laughs> yeah. for that? There's you know, no they, don't, guard. they don't make protection for that. <laughs> right. So. They yeah. should make them, actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, tank nine guard. <laughs> nine club tank nine guard. Yeah. Nine club there tank guard. There we go, dude. Nine club There's tank a new company guard. right there. There you go. Yep. I don't know if that would be a big seller, but <laughs> man, you could try. You if you don't can. try, you don't know. That's you know yeah. can't hit a homer if you don't swing. Can't win if you don't play. Yep. So <laughs> anyway, so you got yeah. through the taint. Got, I mean, wait, thirteen years old. You started skating at twelve. You said no. Right? I started skating at ten. Oh, at ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was like trying to Smith ground a bench by then. Yeah. Oh. That's kind of crazy, dude. The benches are high. It was, yeah. Yeah, I mean, a little schoolyard bench. Well, I mean, I'm from Kansas City. We don't have like okay. a standard. So like a park bench It was or just something. a bench, at, like, yeah. Oh, so 10 years, 13, you're already Smith grinding benches after three years of skateboarding. Well, I mean, pretty, I split my taint over pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I was, I was attempting to Smith grind benches. That yeah. sounds about right, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, three years of skating? Well, let's well let's it took think. Me three I years got to kick flip. I actually this was probably when I was twelve. I split the taint. Oh. I actually got on girl flow when I was thirteen. When you were thirteen. Oh. Now, see, I remember this because I remember because you sent in a sponsor me video, mm -hmm. right? And at the time, girl was kind of a hard company to get on. Still it wasn't is. real. I, well, sure, sure, but it was. But you like nobody would have thought off of a sponsor me tape. This kid from. Yeah. Kansas City would have got on, you know what I mean? Like it was kind of that one of those like, you know, you 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 swung the bat, you hit a home run. Sent five tapes in though. You used five tapes. I was on a lot of tapes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So I was I was okay. I took a lot of swings. You know. Sure. Hey, there yeah. you go. Hey, but uh, <laughs> but um yeah kept sending in tapes finally sam called me and was like hey um stop sending these tapes we'll send you a couple yeah, boards just, we'll just send you some board whatever you know um just, this is too much which was you know it's funny so girl at the time had this like stigma about it. it's really hard to get on yeah. there's you know like it's the best of the best like eric costin like mike care whatever Guy Mariano, yeah. Yeah. yeah you know the lit chris roberts chris the list roberts is yeah. like list yeah. is huge yeah so i like i liked a girl but like I was really intimidated to send my tape into girl and like I was like actually like sending it into zero because I was a big Jamie Thomas fan and like real and like these oh. these places I know zero was the one I was like you know what I skate handrails like oh, yeah. from the Midwest Jamie toured around the Midwest mm -hmm. all the time so mm -hmm. I would give him tapes and like nothing back but girl was the one that Dan Askew actually sent my tape into, and I got a call back from Girl. Dan Askew from Escapist. From Escapist. Yeah. The owner of Escapist sent right. my tape to Sam, and Sam was like, oh, cool, and called me back. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't think I had a shot. Like, no one else even wanted to, like, 
try call me back you know oh oh, nobody else wanted to call you back yeah no one like yeah whatever so you never got a response from jamie at all yeah but at the time i mean i mean i'm sure shape was a pretty good account and they're like oh let's keep this guy happy and let's definitely take care of the boys i don't know how or why but but girl was the one that was like hey we're down to hook you up and this was right around when yeah right was coming out and i remember um my aunt like i was like oh i got on uh or i'm getting boards from this company girl and she was like let's let's look it up and i'm like yeah look it up here go like check it out like here's the thing and the right on the front page was Costin grabbing that homeless guy that broke into his car <laughs> was like all your fucking yeah, right. money now okay. all your money now and my right. hand was like Th- these are these are the guys these are like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know but they're, they're really good at skating <laughs> <laughs> but also too i mean like being a little kid you know maybe some companies don't want to like take on that little kid stuff yeah. jamie thomas maybe wanted to older the, guys you know what i mean like you're was, 12 years old it was yeah. very very early you right. know it was right. like I wasn't expecting a call back. I wasn't yeah. like whatever, but I was like hopeful, you know. Oh yeah, as sure. A kid and like I was like sending in tapes and like doing my thing. Um, I wonder what was on that sponsor. Do you remember the whole spo- sponsor? Me? Do you have any? You should post some of this footage you have. Be, girl I mean, has them all. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, it's a, a Vice Line piece. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. was it? Piece, yeah. yeah. Oh, for pretty sweet. So. Oh, girl, oh okay. Yeah. Like Sam has. There were VHSs like straight up mailed in. <laughs> Did you put music to them? No, just no. no, Okay. So you were smart enough. It was like, and at the time it was like, what, like a minute, maybe 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. Like, here's the stuff I have. And then like, I just, every few months I would just kind of send it out. Who was filming? Aaron Shalane. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Local filmer in Kansas City. You were how old when this happened? Sending tapes in the girl, 13. (laughs) Dude, that's nuts. Yeah. That's com- you started at 10? I started skating at 10, and, and then I started sp- sending in tapes at 13 and, and got on flow that Jeez, year. Yeah, dude. Three years. I mean, that's, that's pretty incredible. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. impressive. I, it took I me mean, like seven years or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> You're still trying to get on a boy company. Cool. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo. Uh, it's crazy watching your skating. Cause you developed really fast, obviously, but like we didn't, I didn't see everything. If I saw a trick, I thought it was the hardest thing. It wasn't even feasible to me. You know, you know yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like it took me a while to understand that I could actually maybe do stuff like that, but you developed that really quick. I, don't I know. mean, I just had, I also suffer from like a little brother syndrome, you know, like I have three older brothers mm-hmm. I'm the youngest out of everybody. So I'm like, couldn't be left behind. Like right, anything that right. they did, like I was like, I have to be better than them in, in, in a way of like just to hang out yeah. sure like you know they're like hey we're we're going over here you know it wasn't like like i had to like kind of prove myself in that way and if my brothers learn something i'm yeah. like I, I can't like be left behind i can't do it sure and um i think like that mentality and that like kind of transitioned over when i started like hanging out with you know my friends and and filmers and like they're like hey we're going to this spot and i'm like shit i have to like do something here to like stay in the in the in the car in the van or like the skate posse you know yeah but i I mean i could see that too but also having the older guys around too to like see how to do tricks and actually like firsthand you know my brothers were actually like way better than me they were were ever sponsored never sponsored no no. were they ever jealous when you were like 13 years old (laughs) getting bored from girl were they like the fuck they must have signed i don't know i don't (laughs) I don't think there was jealousy. There no. never was any of that towards me. I don't okay. know. Okay. Okay. Wise, but they, they were yeah. like, we'll I mean, talk. they were getting boards too. I'll we'll have know? to talk to we the were, two we of were, them. We were all skating girl boards. So. Oh, yeah. Did you guys skate similarly, like skate rails and gaps and stuff like that? So it's funny. I have three older brothers. The oldest one didn't skate. Okay. But the, the one below him, Justin, he was like the gnarly one. He was like, <laughs> I'm going to try to ollie the biggest gap. Okay. I'm going to try to blunt to fakie the biggest quarter pipe like he was just the one that was like he was trying backflips at one point <laughs> seriously yeah Gun he was like out. crazy <laughs> and then chris the the one closest in age to me he was really tech mm. so he was like nolly flip back 50 in the hubba oh and like, shit. like he was like analyzed it in a different way and so i think me just trying to like do fit both. in with both of them kind of helped the whole thing yeah. you know yeah that's hey, you're awesome, well-rounded actually. 
I know you're definitely well rounded. I don't know. Like I, I, I have fun skating things and like whatever, and and that's how I grew up skating. And then with my friends, and I've even seen you skate a half pipe. I could scratch. Yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely not getting above coping, but no, I'll, no. Go, I'll Smith grind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. rock rock fakies. Oh, I'll rock fakie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I padded up with Colin McKay for five Seriously. days. Yeah, what do you mean for five days? Five days straight on the vert ramp. On the vert ramp, padded up. Just yeah. want to learn. I was just trying to learn. Yeah, um, and then like I think I tore my meniscus. Then I'm oh, not really? sure if that was because I don't. It's hard. To get out of your natural like street skating yeah, mentality, yeah. you know, and I tried to run something out, oh, and it just like planted. Mm. Uh, uh, but I mean, it wasn't like like it hurt, like my knee like hurt, but it wasn't like damn, I'm sidelined, you know. Oh, it's just okay. like, uh, and then years later, I'm like, I think that was the time. So you never got it checked out? No, but I was a kid. I was like, I'm just skating for like, who cares, yeah. you right. know? Like, oh, right. uh, my knee kind of hurt, whatever. And then years and years later, I was like oh, this actually, like, mm. feels clicky, whatever. Uh-huh. And they were like, yeah, it was been a while. Like, it looks, like, pretty old in there. Oh, like, really? I think that was the time I tried to skate vert. <laughs> <laughs> Stay. After, you ever, after five days of skating vert with uh, Colin, did you learn anything? Five days. Five, five days. days. Um, let's see. I mean, I was getting, like, pretty good. Like, I was, like, not, I was getting comfortable. Okay. Like, not good. Like, I was, like, being able to drop in, and like, 5-0 and Smith grind, and, like, I was Ooh. starting to learn tail slides and, like, little, like, fakey airs and stuff like that. But Ooh. it wasn't, like, I wasn't, like, boosting at all. I wasn't yeah. doing backside airs. Was it on the DC ramp? It was on the DC ramp, wow. which is a big ramp. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. It was, like, 13 feet, yeah. I think. What were you doing down there? Uh, I was on DC at the time. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I was on DC for a couple of years. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, Colin, like I was just down that in San Diego, whatever. And cool. he was like, let's just skate the ramp. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll try to learn vert. Kelly dropped in on vert one time. Dude, that shit was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he That's lives sh- to talk about I it. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't pretty sight, but yeah. he did it. Did it. Going back to the younger Malto. Young Malto. Wobbles. Wobbles. Wobbles Malto. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> How long did that nickname last? Oh my God. Thankfully, not Thankfully. long. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. There, uh, you know, um, it would be funny if your actual nickname now was Wobbles because you're so steady on a board. I mean, funny for everybody else. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> wobbles. Yeah, wobbles. <laughs> Look how clean that was, Wobbles. I mean, can you, I'm walking into middle school just like. <laughs> that would like change your life. Yeah. If you got named that for the rest of your life, it would you'd be somewhere else right now. I would oh, be a different it. person. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. I would assume drugs would have oh, a heavy yeah. impact yeah. on so, me. Well, what, yeah. what happened to Wobbles? Yeah. <laughs> well, Man, Wobbles. You know. He's stuck in Independence, stuck. Missouri, <laughs> just like in a ditch somewhere, yeah. Obviously, you got into skating because of your brothers and all I that did. stuff. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. when I was uh, 10, mm-hmm. I was swimming, uh, I was living in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, mm-hmm. and I was swimming in this pool over the summer, and I kept looking over, and... Uh, the there are these guys that had built like a DIY style skate park and a tennis court. Mm. And we would always look over and be like, oh man, it's so sick, whatever. And we just like ran over there one day. And like the dudes were like cool, but they were, they were like, they were cool, but they were also skaters, you know? And like those little kids like running in, they're just like, ah, oh, whatever. Like, yeah, here, use it Don't... for a little bit, but give it back. And then like, whatever. And they kind of like let us use it here and there. Like, a few days mm-hmm, out of the week, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then eventually we were like, this is where we want to, like, we want to do this. So yeah. I like hit my mom up like, Hey, I, I like want to skateboard. And like my brothers, like we were all like, so infatuated with it. Mm-hmm. And, um, Chris actually got a skateboard first. I don't know why that happened, but he got a board he's first. The middle? He's the middle. He's the middle. He's the closest age to me. And he started skating and we were like, and we were all still kids, like, summertime so we were like riding bikes like fucking around like Little being kids. being Little kids, kids like yeah. whatever but he like got a board and was just like skating and was like kind of taking it like serious yeah. and we we're like oh shit like chris is skating like whatever um and i would go to the park whatever and this guy uh his name's matt he like gave me a board he was like you know what like i got you here's like an old and it was like a shitty just com- old complete mm-hmm. but like to me that was 
it's like it, sick you got yeah. a board got a board yeah yeah and then it just kind of never stopped never stopped what's, you know what's funny about this place too this diy place uh-huh. so like we we like it took like a year for like skating and like that this was like us okay now. but there was like all this development in fort leavenworth like happening like people like they're building houses uh-huh and so we were like man we want new we want new stuff and so we went what? to the housing what? development and stole okay. plywood and two by fours and everything and carried it all the way to the park, right? So, d- and we're like building boxes. We're building flat bars. Like we're putting a two by fours with two pieces of angle iron on either side, building like flat but bars. But wait, 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 wait. What are these older guys thinking? Or were, were, the, were you tagging along no, with these older no, guys? No, this was like my brothers and I and the older guys were just like oh sick like oh they oh oh, so they were yeah they're like cool like contribute and we're like all right whatever so we're like building at what point did you get busted for stealing wood (laughs) dude I want to show you guys a picture it was fucking insane like we (laughs) built an entire skate park and when I mean skate park I'm like Dude, a mini ramp with a spine in the middle. Yeah, right. <laughs> a bank to wall. We had a 20 foot long ledge. We had a ramp, like a, a roller ramp with like a launch ramp to flat. These Malto <laughs> brothers are great. Dude, <laughs> like, oh, it, it was like a solid probably year of just like stealing wood and building a park. Imagine that, little like, 11 year old Malto like walking back. Dude, and, uh, and like with to wood. us, it, it didn't matter. Like we like it, we're like, oh, it's wood on the side. It's scraps, yeah, whatever. But sure. they're like building houses and right. whatever. But we built like the most insane park. Okay. Like I could not believe it looking back at it. And then the MPs, the military police, <laughs> finally caught on no and ripped the whole thing oh, out yeah no ripped the whole thing out oh my god and we were devastated but um and then like had to go through this thing so was whatever. this on a base this was on a military oh, base geez. oh it was on a military yeah, base fort leavenworth kansas oh see i don't know for uh, yeah, yeah okay so your dad was in the air force my dad's in the military. Yeah. Okay. Or was. Yeah. He was a lieutenant colonel in the military. Oh, so that's yeah. where he was He was stationed in... He, he was stationed... Fort Leavenworth. In Fort Leavenworth. Okay. Actually, yeah. So I was actually born in Maryland. Oh, born in Maryland. Yeah. Not a lot of people know that. Haverty oh. Grace, Maryland. Okay. And um, I left when I was six months. I've never been back. Well, see, six huh. months. Yeah. It doesn't you know, count. But, you no. know, technically. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Right. Your birth certificate. You're from the East Coast. Yeah. 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 Born in East the East Coast. East Coast guy, huh, Raj? Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah, huh? We'll jump him in. Okay. Oh, 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 shit. Wow. Don't worry. It's probably not that <laughs> <laughs> It's probably not that bad. Trust like, me. If we'll Raj give you a beer or something. Yeah. 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 After a couple beers, Raj is what fit, I got Raj's hands are pretty much. Shotgun Estella and I'm in or something. Yeah, exactly. But uh, so n- did you guys get in trouble for stealing all the wood and um, stuff? Anytime we ever like got in trouble at the, like even like skating around mm-hmm. and, and cops, like my brother like ollied off the roof of the the Ooh. hospital on base, <laughs> like wow. in the footage, like whatever we got caught by the MPs and okay. it came back to my dad because he's our dad and sure. these are his kids like disrespecting a military base. It's kind of like... Kind of gnarly looking Is it? back on. I okay. mean, I don't know, you know? Yeah, I don't know, yeah. Like, he's a lieutenant colonel in the army, and, oh. like, his kids are, like, jumping off the roof. They're, the they're, they're running amok in the yeah. base. Yeah. yeah. So he would get really upset at us. Oh, and, like, okay. so this, we were all so scared. Like, because, yeah. like, we were like, we stole, stole? so much shit. <laughs> but I don't think they could really like piece together what was stolen and what wasn't. You know, I don't okay. think they had barcodes on everything. Right. And I think it was just kind of like, we know this isn't yours. Mm. You know, like we know you guys didn't pay for this, right. but we, we got to tear it down. Okay. You know? I was like, all right. Whatever. So the whole DIY park was wiped out. Wiped out. Wow. But it was weird. So they wiped it out. And then they were like, you know what? But we're going to actually like, give you guys a park they're like we'll, we'll actually like fund it but it has to be like the right way oh it's kind of weird because they already have some i mean i know we, i know what it we is pretty but much just... built the same thing <laughs> sure <laughs> wow yeah this, at the, the same, same place at too? the same place oh my god yeah but the only thing that was different this time is they they paid for skate light 
Oh, so wow. we got to skate light everything, which was rad. But I'm it sure just it was just while. plywood yeah. before, right? Was it the same design and everything? It was pretty much the same design, but we souped up things a little mm-hmm. bit, you know? Like, mm-hmm. we, like, made, instead of just one ledge, we put one ledge with a ledge on top of it. And, like, hmm. um, the mini ramp was, like, way bigger. And did the it was, like, a really sick park, actually. Was it, it a like big it. skate community there? Were there a no, lot of skaters? Not no, not a lot. Huh. But um, I think they just were, like... All right, we should give you guys a place. Yeah. And it was on like an abandoned tennis court, so it wasn't oh, really go. much right. for them. And they were like, yeah. whatever, here, just here's some money. Like, let's do it the right way. Yeah. It's and then, dude, a year after that, they tore it down because we weren't wearing helmets. Oh, my God. I trip on shit like that, yeah. right? Yeah. The, the, uh, communities will spend like a million dollars on a skate park and say, you got to wear a helmet and nobody will go there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, uh, why yeah. isn't anybody going to the skate park? Yeah. I wonder why. And uh, but this Fucking became an issue cuz my mom was mad and we weren't wearing our helmets and oh. you know, yeah. So you started off uh, as a career criminal, you know, <laughs> stealing wood and building parks. I mean, we definitely built skate. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually funny how many people shit. come through here and like they stole their first board or this or that. Yeah, I you stole know, my first skate funny. park. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Tight. We stole our first skate park. <laughs> Mal- Malto's that. got you all beat. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't Well, I also had two older brothers yeah. that were like just down they still skate yeah chris and justin skate oh wow for sure yeah you flown boards yeah yeah yep okay i mean like i say that in a way of they they hit me up and like i I send them boards but they'll just also go to the shop and like they get whatever escape yeah Yeah, Yeah, like dan ask you nick owens they own escapist and they're like so down like by the way escapist one of the dopest shops yeah. dan ask you yeah. amazing I amazing owe, dude i owe a lot to those guys I man yeah. when i because we would go to kansas city you know i think yeah. because i had never been there before but we go there because of you and everything mm-hmm. and they were so welcoming yeah. and just the coolest fucking dudes you i know? mean at the end of the day like we're we we're from kansas city we live in kansas city yeah. so like having anybody come to town and like like that's rad to us you know sure like yeah. we don't get to experience pro skaters that often and right it was like rad i remember going to la for the first time and seeing leo romero <laughs> skating beverly hills the nine stair round oh, the rail. rail yeah and i couldn't even skate i was like that's leo romero i was so <laughs> fucking psyched i was like oh my god he backed someone and he nose grinded it in a line i was like oh, blown away wow. yeah was that first love I, maybe yeah some yeah i switched front so i flipped down the five and then back someone you know i was grinding the rail you could have done that switch <laughs> no <laughs> at the time maybe. i was like leo was your the fa- dude your favorite your favorite skater he i, I mean costin's always been my favorite skater, okay but leo was like the man the man yeah right. i mean he was on such a tear like oh, yeah. last last part in that video sure. and like yeah. just like seeing him there i was like well, because that just wasn't our thing. Like, Kansas City, like, no one goes to Kansas City, you know? Right. We're, right. like, just us and our friends. And then eventually, like, the shop would, like, bring people in. Yeah, and, which is weird because Kansas City has great spots. Yeah, they have yeah. a lot of really good spots. Like, yeah. I remember a Zero demo when I was younger. My mom took me out of school. Like, that's how <laughs> big it was. She really? was like, I need to check you out of school. I don't know when the next time this is going to happen. Even your mom was saying, yeah, like she awesome. was like, I mean, it was probably because I was like, you guys were, yeah, I have to go. Right. Yeah, I'm sure like, all mom, three of you were bugging right. I gotta go. But like the school, my mom, like they all understood like, all right, like shit like this doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, professionals are day. coming to Kansas City. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're having this shit but, on a school day though. Yeah. I don't know why. I just take That's it. really cool that your mom was like that though. Yeah. That's really tight. No, she my had mom no was always She supportive. had three kids yeah. that all skated. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But uh, so like Eric Austin, your favorite skater, mm-hmm. right? Now, I'm sure after the Sponsor Me tapes, girl maybe flew you out to like test you or maybe they, they yeah, flew yeah. out there or something like that. And then you had to meet Eric Costin. Yeah. Was this like a big deal? Like, were you starstruck like Leo Marrero? Oh or were you get, God. were you older <laughs> yeah. now and you didn't really care? Like, I mean, I, I still screen grab Costin when he calls. Oh, re- he doesn't call that often, <laughs> but I still screen grab it. You still do. Still do. I mean, Sarah Costin. I know. I know. So, but when, when you so first when met I him, when I first met him, I was super nervous. Yeah. Really? 
Oh, this will segue perfect into our next story. Here. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Uh, girl chocolate comes to town, mm-hmm. and I'm on flow. This is the first time like you've met. Through I, meeting I'm the meeting guys. everybody, whatever. It's uh, Jeremy Rogers, Justin Eldridge, Kenny Anderson, oh. Costin. Um, what the hell was I? I don't know where you were. Huh. <laughs> huh. Okay, go on, yeah, go on. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, there's a squad of people. Mm-hmm. Like, all, mm-hmm. all you right. on an audio trip? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Or he's just chilling at home. Or True. you just didn't care. Yeah. I had to, I had to, yeah, <laughs> Sam called. He's like, "You want to go to Kansas City?" You're like, what? "I, I have to chill, Sam. Yeah. I got to chill." Where? Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of that place. Yeah. Yeah. My cat. Is that in Europe? Is a, yeah. Is this a joke? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, pulling my yeah. leg. No. Kansas City. Oh, weirdest thing. I'm getting a yeah. prank phone call right now. Prank call. Yeah. People live there. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. They have so, electricity there. Oh I don't know. My so I'm really nervous meeting everybody. And yeah. like, I meet Sam and everyone's super cool. But I'm like, just like, hey, what's up? I'm Sean. Like, whatever. Head down. Like, I, I don't, I'm a shy kid. 14, like, 15. This was. This was like, yeah, 14. Okay. Did you yeah. have the helmet? No, no helmet. Already ditched the helmet. Helmet's gone, mm-hmm. like, the concussion. That'd be amazing if up. Malto comes to meet the girl team <laughs> and a with, helmet. with a yeah. helmet, uh, shin guards, and a mouthpiece. Yep. So we're skating, okay. like, the demo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's just get rid of that. Yeah. And tank yeah. guard. Uh, yeah, tank guard. Oh, and a tank guard. Yeah. 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 You want to see my tank guard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a... Hey, check this out. I got this, this is, new uh, thing. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're having fun. Anyways. We're at um, <laughs> So, demo's happening, mm-hmm, whatever. It's, mm-hmm. It goes well. Like, well, everyone's skating, whatever. I'm just, like, kind of skating around, like, not trying to be in anybody's way. Sure. Everyone kills it. Everyone's excited. Respecting the... Oh, good. So, after that, Jeremy and Justin are, like, they want to party. Okay. They want, like, want to go out, Right. Right. So in Kansas City. In Kansas City. And they're I I'm fourteen <laughs> years old. You know, I'm like, uh like I, I grabbed one of my friends, he's like, Oh yeah, we have this house party going on, you guys wanna go? And they're super young too at this point. Sure. Like I don't know how old they are, but they're they couldn't under twenty one probably. Well, well under twenty one. Okay. So they tell them about the house party, everyone's like and they're like, Oh, Justin and Jeremy are coming to this house party. And we're like, oh shit, we're going for sure. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, like they're going. Like, I don't even know what a house party is. Like, I'm just like, oh, they're going to a house. Like, and there's a they're party. going. I'm going. You know, <laughs> cookies, milk, yeah. the whole thing. And like, this is my first like real introduction to like like act like pro skaters. Okay, like, like sick, right? So we're at this house party and like people are drinking. Like, I'm just like have like a, a wa- I don't even. I'm probably drinking like. Some fuck uh, Capri Sun, whatever. Yeah. You know, I don't know right. what I'm drinking. After skating, like, it's orange slices. Yeah, and, uh, like, uh, cactus I'm 14. Yeah. I, I don't know punch. what's going on. I'm eating fruit roll-ups. Like, <laughs> and we're watching journey. skate videos. And dude, uh, I shit you not, a fucking limousine pulls up. A full limo. And door opens, and it's Justin and Jeremy with chains, cologne, <laughs> yeah. like button ups. Right. Like, and they're just like, yeah, like walking in. And we're like, I'm looking, and I'm like, oh my God. Like, these guys are all stars. No. And I'm like, holy shit. I've never seen anything like that in real life, you know? Like, sure. I'm like, oh my God. So they walk in, and it's like, not that at the party <laughs> it's totally not that it's like people are just sitting on a couch Watching drinking sp- beers like whatever um so they they come in and i i would imagine they felt pretty awkward but i, I don't could, i don't know i know? could imagine yeah that's right. another th- they'll they could tell you how they oh, felt. i'll ask elbert yeah, yeah for, for sure, sure. I, I definitely think show. yeah i definitely think it was jeremy with the limousine and yeah. elbert just probably like that is so tight. Let's do like, that. Yeah. Oh, let's yeah. do that. Just, oh my God, I can see how just... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Do you have a chain I can wear yeah, too? Exactly. Like, it's going to be tight. Yeah. Just while, a whole nine, you know, yeah. like whatever. So they're there or whatever. And we're like, ah. Oh, and then um, like they leave pretty fast. 
Um, Not no girls there probably. There was a few girls oh, there, and okay. and one of them left with them. So oh, like, oh, oh, like whatever. So I think really they just have... went in and they're like ah oh, whatever, and they're talking, and then as soon as anyone bit, they're out. Whatever. Um, I, I mean, does this does this matter? No, I, it anybody? matters. I, 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 <laughs> it's amazing. I don't want to like. No, this is great. Whatever. This is great. Whatever. So great. they leave, and uh, I don't know how this happened or or what. I don't I don't exactly remember the details. Okay, but someone's like, oh, they're having a, a party in their room at the hotel. You know, I'm young, and my brothers are a little older than mm-hmm. me, and they're like, oh, I, I, okay, like let's go. I'm sure, like, cool. So we go, right? And we're we're behind everybody by like 20, 30 minutes. Okay. Elevator up to the floor. We're walking the hallway. Kenny Anderson is in the hallway with his hands out. And he's like, who stole my iPod? Oh, no. <laughs> it's me, my two brothers. And he's like, on it. He's like, where's my ipod he's asking you guys he's asking us we're the only ones there oh everybody had left already oh oh Oh. like i guess it just like they had a part i mean i i can only assume that they had a party a bunch of people went it was just kind of weird and everybody left right (laughs) with kenny's ipod and kenny's ipod went with (laughs) whatever that was But Kenny didn't know what happened because Kenny was in another room. So Kenny just goes into his room, sees that the iPod's gone and walks out. And I'm the first person he sees, right? <laughs> the flow kid. The flow kid. <laughs> yeah. And and Chris and Justin are with me, my brothers. And he's like, w- just where's my iPod? Like, I don't care anything. Like, just where is it? And I'm like, D- I just got here. I'm not sure. And he's like, I don't even think he knows my name at this point. He's like... <laughs> Honestly, seriously, boards, shoes, anything. I just want my iPod back. Like, where is it? Right. And I'm like, Kenny Anderson. <laughs> yeah. I swear to you, I don't know where your iPod is. Right. I just got here. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, I'll try to find it for you. Like, I'm going to find it for you. Okay. I was like, I, I got this. Like, <laughs> you can make some calls, yeah, yeah. maybe. I, I know the, I know some of the guys like that were in here, even though like in my head, I don't I have no idea who was sure. in there. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Whatever. So I'm like, oh my God. And then Kenny's like, all right, like, there's a lot of shit on there. I need this. Like, whatever. Like, it just get the iPod back. Yeah. And, then he, and then he walks into his room and he shuts the door and it's me and my brothers just in the hallway. And I'm just like, <laughs> Well, I guess we should leave now. Right. Right. And then um, that just became a whole thing because I guess Kenny was like associated you. me with stealing the iPod. He'll tell you differently, but I- Oh, he, what will he tell us? I think he'll say that he was like, oh no, I knew it wasn't you. Oh. But I think he was like- He was- I stole his iPod. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, I think I, that was a hard thing to overcome, you know? This it was is... like, I had to like- <laughs> I think actually Ernie was the one that was like later on on audio trips was like honestly Sean wouldn't steal your iPod like, okay, whatever he right. had to like vouch for it yeah but, yeah yeah um, <laughs> that was a big thing this yeah. is a perfect opportunity for like, you to come clean Sean right, if you no. want you know what Kenny <laughs> he's, he's got his iPod right here that would be incredible yeah. it has no screen on it or anything it's an old one. But that, yeah, that's funny, dude. Yeah. yeah. So you never found it. You never, you called, did you call people? Or whatever? I, no, nothing? I called no? around, but you mm. know. I wonder what was on there that he really needed. Kenny's a music so, dude. So I heard it was the, like he had, cause you know, I can use them for like USB drives. So I heard he had his first shoe designs uh, on that iPod. Oh, that, yeah. Oh, so oh, for I, his audio shoe. For his audio shoe. Yeah. And that was a big seller. That was a big seller. Right. Hey. <laughs> I'd Someone's sitting too. on gold. <laughs> no way. I wonder. Somebody's watching this right now, probably going like, "That was me. I took. Yeah. I <laughs> took that iPod." They're probably like, "Fuck! I never plugged it in to use it on hard drive." Yeah. I know. I can't believe Justin and Jeremy pulled up in a limousine. <laughs> I do. You do. I will. Yeah. I will never forget them walking out of that limousine into the house party. We were all just like. But speechless. We were shocked. <laughs> Superstars. And we were just like, like not even there a cab might as well or... been fucking hip hop music and smoke blowing yeah. everywhere. It was like, here they are, like Rock professionals. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. showing up for the awards show. Yeah. It was honestly pretty sick. I'm sure. Like, yeah. Costin, Costin didn't come to the party. Costin didn't come to the party. No. No. 
When you met Costin, though, were you like, uh, did you, could you talk or did, was it not even a, no, a thing? I you just, just were like, kind of like, there's Costin. Yeah, it was there, like, yeah. I, I want nothing to do with that conversation. Like, <laughs> right. personally, I was like, Eric Costin, now I'm going to go this you're gonna go I don't on, know right. what to say to you right. right now because you're, yeah. How long after that did you get on Girl then? So, I actually went on my first trip probably 15 or 16. Okay. It, w- it was right around that transition we to me. Thomas. Yeah, which trip? It, w- it was Yes We Canada. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. So Mike Mo and I went to uh, uh, Yes We Canada. And I met okay. Mike Mo a couple times, but Mike Mo was also on flow for six months. I was on flow for two and a half years at this yeah. point. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, so we're like going to Canada, right? And like we're rooming together because mm-hmm. we're the kids. And like we immediately are like, all right, like, good friends from the jump right and um we're like kind of scared and we're we're both talking each other through like what to do you know what i mean okay. he's like should should we like tie or like, nah, let's just keep our mouth shut whatever and like sure. we'll, we'll just eat together like like i have your back you have my back type thing right and um we're just skating flat together whatever so um we went to yes we canada and um where was it? Toronto? Oh, yeah. There was footage there. Yeah, yeah Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Toronto. Oh. And it was really fun. And then, like, uh, we had our crew, and Costin flew in three days later, right? And so the night before, Sam was like, and he was just fucking with us, but I didn't know this. Okay. So he, like, sat me and Mike Mo down, like, officially. He was like, hey, hey, guys, like, it's been all fun and games, and, like, we're having a great time, but, like, Costin's coming tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, all right, I'm just saying, Costin's here, for, bring your A game. Whatever. And we're like, okay, like, whatever. We're like, yeah, all right. Yeah. This whatever. Is... We're like, kind of plan it off. And we get back to the room. We're just like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, uh, we go to the lobby and Costin shows up with, like, he has a suitcase and his board, and but he has this, like, standing thing like this piece of luggage on wheels that was like it's almost as tall as him it was like okay and it was like uh like it had like this thing around it and we were like what the fuck is that yeah and we were like oh my god this guy like he he's probably brought like some suits like it's <laughs> like, eric costin like he probably has like business meetings oh he probably god. like probably brought a couple suits you know <laughs> right suits and this is me looking back at like jeremy and justin yeah, yeah. hopping out of a limo there you go i'm like what's eric costin doing <laughs> right you know what was it uh, we didn't know what it was and we were like dude it was kind of a big top between me and mike when we were trying Just to figure trying it to out for out. like a while and it ended up being golf clubs oh yeah, brought golf clubs with them to play that's still pretty amazing but that's it was funny it was yeah. like it's funny that it was a thing to us right. we were like because we were analyzing everything. Oh, I'm sure. Everything. And plus kids. you had a buddy there too. Yeah. As with Mike Mo exactly. to try to like figure out, yeah. you know. Exactly. Sure. Like me and Mo were like in it together. Our first trips and we're like, oh my God, like this right. dude, like what is that? What's happening? Like, are we <laughs> sure. blowing it? Like, should yeah. we be sitting there? Should we be here? Like, whatever. So, um, but the trip goes really goes well. well. We're, okay. we're skating, we're hanging. Yeah. Um, you brought your A game? Honestly, like just out of sheer luck like shit was happening like it was good (laughs) it was good it was good yeah you know and like sometimes like when you're younger you're just trying to do stuff that you don't know how to do but Mm -hmm. like it's just working right that's kind of how it was okay and like like it took me an hour and a half i remember to to backside nose grind this ledge Mm -hmm. and uh i did it and i was like like psyched i was like cool it was like this long curve ledge that you had to pop out and mm-hmm. i was like you know what i'll just try one nollie and second try nollie the whole thing no popped way. out wow and i was like oh my god like it just things it was were just like working yeah wow. that was the trick or that was the video that they announced you guys yeah, right? yeah. exactly oh they announced you in the video in the video both at the same time yeah oh so you guys got on at the same time at the same time yeah because i was gonna ask was there any like you know competitiveness or any type of anima because i know when mike mo when alex yeah. olsen kind of got on there was kind of a mike mo alex olsen it- totally Beef. <laughs> yeah you know uh, they had some weird lakai stuff going sure, on. sure they yeah. had a bunch yeah but um me and mo 
I wouldn't say it wasn't competitive. Cause I, but I, I, I don't ever remember it being like crazy. Like we were both kind of had each other's back. Yeah. Okay. Like we were both like, what do we do? Because Mike like, Mo is an amazing skateboarder, as yeah. you are also. But I could, I could and, and Mike Mo's great, dude. Yeah. But I could almost picture Mike Mo being like. You know, you landing a trick and Mike most stoked for you, but at the same time being like, fuck. And it's <laughs> like, fuck. And God it's different. It. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's kind of the way it goes, though, in a weird way. You, no, you, sure. When but, you see, like, when you're, you're trying to come up, you're like, oh, I got a fucking yeah. yeah. shit. Like, yeah. Mike, like he yeah. no back nose grinded the bent nollie back nose, and then second try, and Mike yeah. most probably like, God He's damn like, it. Like, I got it. Uh, <laughs> what yeah, am I going to yeah, do? Yeah, like, for this sure. is. Definitely. And right. like, also there is a different styles to our skating and it's sure, like sure. some spots work out for me, some work for him. And like, so, so there, it is just different, you know yeah. what I mean? But there, I mean, we definitely like wanted to be on, you know what I mean? Like totally. we wanted to make it. Yeah. So it, there was pressure on ourselves and that honestly like comes down to like, well, at least you guys made well. it the same time. Cause yeah. it would have been weird too. If like Super you got weird. on yeah. and Ma Ma Mike Mo didn't or totally. And Mike Mo, uh, he's always struggled with demos, like yeah. skating in front of people. Sure, and yeah. like, he always just was like, yeah, you know, it just wasn't Not his, his thing, totally. which is totally fine. You yeah. know, but like, I never had a problem with it. And like, whatever and honestly i skate handrails too and like sometimes it's just easier at a demo yeah you know you can oh, just like sure. nollie front board the rail and that's easier than switch flip crook in the ledge sometimes you know? <laughs> yeah. totally like but it, it just whatever the that that whole dynamic of things and like there was because there was a demo and like i skated it and it was a thing like is mike well gonna skate this demo and i was like i don't know i guess i'll go talk to him you know <laughs> like I'm like, well, can you just front side flip the step? Real quick? Yeah, just <laughs> come on. Because he has yeah. demo. Tr he could, you know, like you said, front oh side flip God. the steps and Mike just little Mo things. Mike can destroy a demo. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Definitely. I think it gets into his head, though. Of it's like, just not his thing. Yeah. 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 Right. Contests, like all, all that. It's just, he's just, that, it's not natural to him. It's not his yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, but he excels. And everywhere else in a skate. Isn't it so. great that Mike Mo's like skating after such a horrific accident? Man, it's. Like, it's, he was literally looking yeah. at his, the bottom of his foot. Yeah. His knee was tweaked, you know, yeah. and now he's, you know, doing a hundred kickflips and all these little videos that he does. Yeah. It's like, it looks like dude, he never stops skating. If I, 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 yeah. if, I can, if I don't skate for a week, I have to start over. This yeah. fucking guy hasn't skated for five years and he's just doing these amazing tricks again. Dude, the other like, day he dude. was like rolling out of this parking lot of a spot and he was like, what trick should I do? And I was like, uh, switch backs, I flip. And he did the best switch backs I flip I've ever seen. And I'm dude, just like. So sick. Dude. It's crazy. And for me, it's, it, it's more special as well because we like came up together. Yeah. You know, like we we got on girl together yeah. we went pro together and then i hurt my ankle mm -hmm. and like i didn't skate for the better part of two years you right, know and like right. just getting back into it like you feel skating with mike mo yeah. he hurts his knee right and i'm like so we honestly didn't really skate skate together for like six years after going through all, all this shit <laughs> together you know what i mean yeah yeah and it was and it, it, it really was like that trip of you know us as kids going mm -hmm. to canada like you have my back i have your back you know that really did translate moving forward right. like even even any any problems even as professionals like mm -hmm. when we went pro together when we like whatever like any trips like we always room together we always like fed off each other right had my guy and then yeah. you know i got taken out and then he got taken out and it was like Damn. fuck yeah yeah but now you know like it, it's it's becoming it's back sure it's, it's starting to get back to like this thing where he's like hey man you want to go skate and i'm like <laughs> shit <laughs> you know how many years i took that for granted yeah yeah and then now I'm like, oh my God, like I have to cherish this For moment. Sure. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I get to skate with Mike Mo oh, again. Dude. Like this is And it's incredible. not like he's frontside yeah. flipping down 10 stairs or whatever, no. but just the, yeah. just the act of skating alone. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like can be a beautiful thing for somebody who. Like we went to Beeble's Park and didn't even touch a single obstacle. Right. We just skated flat. Yeah. And like, we were like fucking around. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Like, Guy's still popping his tricks, fucking chest. Dude, it's, it's, it's switch crazy. his switch trays are one of my favorite. Oh my trays. god! Remember back in the day when yeah. he was doing the the 
like how many switch trays and tray hoops you can do under a minute yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. he switched dude he has switched trays better than anyone i think honestly it's it, so i don't even know yeah. how to explain it it's fucking and he'll do the same he'll do it he'll, he'll He'll still <laughs> <laughs> relax. Woo. He'll still do the best switch tray. Yeah. Still, it's crazy. So, I mean, we're talking about being competitive here. Yeah, yeah, no, me, for with sure. Me and Mike Mo, right? So, when we were kids, like flat ground was his thing, and yeah. he was not about to like let me have any part of that game of skates. <laughs> game of skates. Never beat him. <laughs> Ever. Wow. And so we didn't skate like together for a while. He got hurt and I'm like skating flat and I'm like, like he's starting to come back skating and yeah. I'm like, oh man, Let's, here's my here's chance. Here's your chance <laughs> to get him. I'm like, I'm going to beat him and skate, right. whatever. And he fucked me up. Really? Dude, he whooped my ass. Still, still to this day. Still. What wow. tricks was he doing? What trick? You could do every, I've seen you battle to the bear. I know you. I, we skated together. You could do every trick there is. Well, so can he. <laughs> And more. Fucking guys. Are, uh, so I'm re- I'm like, okay, I'm consistent enough to get through like all the basic stuff. And yeah. then you get into like all the inward heels and then oh, all yeah. the, the nolly hards, the switch hards. And then he goes impossible late flips and <laughs> nolly full cab kick flips and then full cab flips. And, and then it just keeps going. Keeps and that's going. like, right. I can't hang with that. Do you think he could do the way that he's skating right now? Do you think he could go into Battle of the Barracks and stuff like that? Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah? Okay. I mean, I haven't seen him skate flat ground like in person. You know, I but. think he can beat anybody right now in a yeah? game of skate. I think he's capable of beating anybody in a game of skate right now. You know, the fact of like if it happens or not, but I think mm-hmm. like he's as good as I've ever seen anybody he's skate. Gnarly. Flat. That's yeah. wow. He's gnarly. He's a he's yeah. he's like one of those skaters who's just got it. Yeah, yeah. just well, gift, he stand, gifted. He stands you know? out in a crowd of people. He stands out like yeah. when he does a trick, all four of his wheels are, they fucking smack the ground. Yeah, the fuck. yeah. It's, it's, he everything is confident. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You guys ever fight? <laughs> <laughs> you ever try to get? He's a big dude, you know. He's, uh, nah, he's, he's the same he kill same me, age yeah. as you. He is a little younger. Little younger. Yeah. Oh. It's funny. We went to Australia together, and I was seven. Or I was 18. He was 17, right? So you have to be 18 to drink in Australia. There you go. So our thing was, I go in first. They check my ID, and Mm -hmm. then they see him. And it worked every single time. I mean... One guy asked, they're like, do you have an ID? And he was like, do you see him? He like, Mike Mo pointed to me, and the guy was like, oh, yeah, go in. Right. (laughs) Every time. I mean, 17 17 years old, the guy, Mike Mo's got a full beard and a a chest full of hair. He is an Italian, like, man at 17, and I'm like an 18-year-old Asian kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, who looks probably 13. I look so young, and he looked... Old, so old not old but older you know what i mean he looked like a man he def- i looked like a kid yeah but i was older than him by a year so i would show them my id they would check it and be like uh, uh, uh yeah just come on in. yeah right it wasn't right. even a that's a, a thing. good deal yeah. right there you right. guys are smart yeah we had it that was yeah. really yeah. good right yeah but that's cool like you guys went through this thing together and you guys will remember that on and off the board for the rest of your life sure. you guys for will sure. have that with each other forever. he will always be like my best friend yeah, yeah. Always. that's tight forever. that's yeah. so fun cool man was that the uh out backwards store maybe the one where you were making out with a girl at the demo <laughs> that had to be that one right um how many, I think de- how many demos do you make out with girls at no there's just one oh, okay. <laughs> All right. in the middle okay. of the, in the middle of the park it what was, are you doing yeah, uh, so we did a demo at this at uh, this park in australia okay. right and so there was this this blonde girl that looked similar in age to like mike mo and i okay and um and then this this guy kind of standing next to her and uh beeble was we had a bus yeah we had a fucking (laughs) bus which was kind of sick so beeble was like end of end of the demo we all get on the bus but we haven't pulled out yet Mm -hmm. and and we're looking out of the bus windows and beeble's like malto go make out that girl (laughs) i'm like what and he was like dude go talk to her right and i'm like no and i'm like mike mo you go talk and he's like no dude and then like alex is like fuck off whatever you know yeah. and then people's like fuck malto can you just please go fucking talk to her please like just go kiss her just okay. <laughs> do you want he's like and it is Beeble, you know i'm like yeah. the most confident dude in the oh world oh my god yeah and he's like 
just go up and ask her for a kiss. That's all you do. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, uh, really? I'm like, fuck, really? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, uh, okay. I'm like, whatever. So in my head, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I should do. Yeah. yeah. This, I'm in Australia. I <laughs> yeah. I walk out and when I look at the footage, it's funny. I walk out of the bus and people's like, oh, he's totally going to blow it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he's gassing me up like, you got this, whatever. And he's like, totally going to blow it. But I walk up to the girl and like, I was like, hey, is, uh, is this your boyfriend? She was like, no, no, it's my cousin. And I was like, oh, well, we're about to leave. Uh, can I have a make out? Yeah, no idea what right. I was doing. And she looked at me. She was like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Okay. All right. And like, she just leaned in. Like, it was like a, a make out for like, a, like two seconds. Uh-huh. And then I was like, all right. And I just, I don't even know what I, I just like stopped and just turned around and walked away. <laughs> Everyone in the bus Straight back so in the bus. And people was like, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Tight, dude. I Wait. remember getting on the bus and then I think Maze was like, film this, film this, film this. Yeah. And like I broke my camera, and that's when like you went on the bus. What? It's in that tour video. Yeah, it's in oh, the tour video. Tour. Yeah, you I think you. I think you was like. Yeah, after you I were psyched, like, you were psyched. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah Dude, I, I can was imagine like, that bus like erupting. Oh, I know. That bus must have been like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It was definitely funny. Do you want to get a make out? What is, what would you, what is, I don't even know what I was doing. I had no idea. That's a good idea. one, yeah. dude. It worked. It, it did work. I yeah. mean, it's 100% rate well, for me right now. I don't think I've ever walked up yeah. to another You're one girl. for one. Yeah. It's like, hey, you want a make out? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Surprised you didn't keep trying that all over. Because yeah. like, listen, man, you know, girl skateboards, you're in a different country. They're there to see you, yeah. you know? You know, that was just one and one and done, I one guess. One and done, yeah. Okay. Hey, at least you had the balls to do it though. Huh? Yeah, just just once. <laughs> but still, I mean, even then, like Yeah. And no one else did it. Yeah. May, if You're not I even had, Beeble. If I had Beeble as a life coach, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Well, let's go back. I want to go back to um like when you and Mar Mike Mo were getting on the the team at yeah, the same yeah. time, the the Canada tour. So we did that Yes We Canada tour. Yeah. And like where we're skating and we're like trying to figure it out mm -hmm. and like end of the trip and uh, you know it like went really well like we meshed well with everybody yeah. and um rick mccrank i remember him like at the signing he was like hey you guys like jump in this signing because we were like sidelines we were like sure. you guys do your thing like whatever and so it was and like no one a, knows us. A, a welcoming thing dude right? some flow kids just jump right in the signings and i'm sitting next to him like what the fuck are you yeah doing you know what i mean like and mo and i were like but we don't deserve this. Okay. We don't know what we're doing. Right. Like, whatever. Like, no one cares. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, anyways, uh, that t that uh, tour happened. Mm -hmm. And then Sam was like, hey, we want to do a little video to introduce you guys at the end. And I'm like, hell yeah, I'm psyched. Wow. Um, at the time, I'm filming for the, like this local video. And, and honestly, like, at the time and for a lot of years after that, like, I was never really filming for anything. I just skated mm -hmm. and like filmed stuff and okay. then like put it out wherever. So right. I, I had like a ton of stuff. So like we put, like I sent him like 10 of the best tricks that I had or whatever. Okay. And Mike Mo did the same. And they introed us in this free DVD in a magazine. Mm -hmm. The funny part of that though, they spelled my name wrong. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah. In the intro. Uh, Sean, Sean Matlow, M A T. <laughs> they switched the letters. Hello. They should. Yeah. That one stuck for a long time. <laughs> People called me Matlow, Sean Matlow for a long time. Yeah. Matlow. Did you tell Funny. them? Uh, I, I don't know if I told them because they spelled it right on the cover mm -hmm. and like uh, on the credits, but like in the intro, it's like, yes, we can. And it pops up and then the name's like, whoosh, right? And it's like, <laughs> Matt Lowe. Sean Matt Lowe. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Eric Anthony's fault? Yeah. Uh, I think it was Mesa. Mesa. Actually. I think Mesa. I don't know if I told him. I don't remember exactly how it happened, but I probably told yeah. him. I was, I was like, hey, just just so you know, it's you M.A. It's, it's Malto. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, what I just, just if there is a future. If, like, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, so... Um, which is actually funny. I should do a board graph. I was going to say yeah, that for the, your first board, they should yeah. have done Sean Matlow. Mesa actually like 
reached out and was like, "Hey, man, I'm really sorry." Okay, and I was yeah. like, "It's all, I, I, it's all good." Like, I'm just so excited to be on Girl, like, yeah, whatever. And were you on a, a shoe brand at the time too? I at the time was uh, on DC. Yeah, fully so, on. No, no. So, okay. so like that so just transitioned like. It, it happened at the same time. And those different times then, like sure. shoe companies and board brands like talk to each other. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it was like, Hey, yeah. are you putting this guy on? Like, no. Okay. We'll wait. Yeah. You know what I mean? There was, there, it wasn't like just do like everyone had their own agenda. Everyone kind of just talked to each other. It was kind of yeah. like an order of like, he gets on. on, then he. Exactly. So like DC and girl, they were talking and it was like, okay, cool. So like I got on, those two at the same time okay, together. Right. Yeah. I, re- I remember when I was there at the DC demo where you kind of got discovered by Heath a little bit. Oh my God. You were on that fucking yeah. trip in a parking lot in Kansas yeah. City, right? Yeah, I was there and that was the first time. You I were s- doing tray flips and like circles <laughs> around everything. I was getting yeah. around on the side. There there so they had they had like a main obstacle in the middle mm-hmm. and then all the all these like boxes and rails around. Okay. And, but, but, so Kelly kind of skated like a track around, like in between, but like on the course, but didn't touch anything. But just skated <laughs> just skate. around in circles. Look how good and I he can was tray the flip. Star. Yeah, we were like, what? Like we were all like, holy shit! Like Ryan Smith jumped out of tour, like fucking back, lit the rail, thing, yeah. went back into the bus. But like, yeah, I remember Kelly skate. Damn, good memory. Uh, yeah, I, I remember. But I remember the first time I ever saw like literally a little yeah. kid show up to a demo, and I was like, "You had like a little bowl cut or something." Uh-huh. And I was like, <laughs> "My Who? mom cut my hair for <laughs> yeah. the better part of my entire life." <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. laughs> And he shows up, and I'm like, who came up from board the rail? And, like, for, a, what, you 13 or 14 at that yeah, time? Yeah, super young, yep. Dude, everyone was tripping, the whole team. I remember Van England was there. He's like, mm. who the fuck is this kid, yeah. dude, with the fucking bowl cut? He's just fucking going yeah. ham. How and Heath was the team manager of DC. And Heath, yeah. ever since he saw you at that time, he knew about you already. Mm-hmm. Um, but I knew that was the time where – then you got on DC shortly after that. Yeah, yeah. So I got on DC Flow. And yeah. There's this guy, I think his name is Jeremy Gardner, like mm. hooked me up with shoes. He was a rep. Okay. And so DC came to town and um, Heath Brinkley um, from then was like, hey, hit me up. Like, okay. I got Direct you. Yeah. yeah. Right. And like Heath was, um, you know, at the time I didn't understand, but he was almost that guy that like, I could never be good enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> like he's still that guy. Right? I was, I was sending him stuff. And he was just like, oh, cool. He was like, cool. Like, what? Like, oh, you're skating rails? Like, do manual tricks. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Like, did manual tricks. He's like, cool. Like, skate transition. I'm like, oh, fucking all right. Skate transition. He was like, yeah, all right. Like, can you do this though? Like, he yeah, kept, yeah, he yeah. kept Challenging just switching. You. And like, like, I'm really grateful for that mm-hmm. now. Like, he, like, actually pushed me. Like, I sent a sponsor me tape in, and I, like, backsmithing Hollywood 16. Oh, like, wow. like, I, like, did some shit in that that, like, I was really psyched on. And he was like, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. That's um, amazing. It does. So, he yeah. was, like, he was tough, but, like, but, like good you know what sure. i mean like he was always always supportive and right. like i owe a lot to heath brinkley too but he it, um he took me in and like he called he actually like talked to my mom oh wow about like going on tours and okay yeah. because like i'm a young kid you know my Absolutely. mom's like oh, what yeah. what are these guys gonna do right right and heath was like i got him yeah and it's also great that he wasn't just saying like oh yeah it's okay just send me more footage like he was actually like yeah. telling you like okay hey great now do manuals and exactly. do this Push them, yeah yeah telling a kid that they're good at skating is probably not the, the best thing for them at especially that time. like a team yeah. manager at that exactly. level exactly not like stuff. oh my god you're killing it yeah you know yeah. what i mean he was just like ah, all right right i'm like <laughs> let's see you do this hey now. look at you now man i know you're I mean, cocky as ever. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, I mean, it shaped me into the best pro skater in the world, you know? So. That's an amazing Matt Lowe. That's, yeah, Matt Lowe. Yeah, that's Matt Lowe. Oh, that's that, your alter that's ego. Matt Lowe. Yeah. You know? Matt Lowe is the best skater in the world. Matt Lowe's like, man, you guys are lucky you to guys- have me here <laughs> talking to you. You know? Matt and Malto's like, eh, it's cool, Mal- man. Malto's, Malto's doing like, my thing. oh my God, what am I doing? Um, but he, he's also like, to, to give credit to that sure. guy to like uh, you know mm-hmm. I want to explain like he actually let me stay at his house like he took care of me like yeah. he was like a parent to me growing up so 
Nice. Yeah. Very, he's a good dude. Great, great dude. Great dude. Great guy. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm excited that he's in the position that he's in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, not only that is when he left DC to do um etnies, etnies yeah. and kind of revamp etnies he brought you along with like mikey taylor and a bunch of other dudes yeah uh, bledsoe and yeah so got on girl in dc mm -hmm. and then um like things were evolving whatever and a couple years later um mikey so i was spending a lot of time with mikey taylor yeah. like summer of 2007 mm -hmm. i stayed in newberry park at his house for like months <laughs> really yeah and he like and you know you guys know mikey sure. you've had him on the show he's he back then was like a kid like he was my age probably mm -hmm. but like he was like he was bombing hills in the middle of the night, throwing water balloons at cars, okay. like just like wow. <laughs> had a skate house, like his house. There was like 10 people living in it with a mini ramp in the back. Like we, it was so fun. Right. It was so fun. Right. But looking back, I'm like, it's so unlike him. It's kind of crazy. Well, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. you know, he's he still... grew out of that quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could be he's a dude. Married. He's a dude that still, well, I like, likes to have fun and he's, oh he's like God. a grown still a up kid. kid. Yeah. He's yeah. one of my yeah. best friends is right. because of that. Like right. he always keeps it fresh and like young and like he, he's down to like do whatever. Sure. So he at, was like, didn't know what his role was with DC. Mm -hmm. was trying to figure things out. And um, he was like thinking about going to Etnies. Right. And Mikey at the time was leaving DC and was trying to figure it out too. Mm -hmm. And I was hanging with Mikey and he was like, you know what? Like, I think me, you, Tyler Bledsoe, we should all go to Etnies. And like, let's try to create something for ourselves. Mm -hmm. here. You know, and it was like, I was young. I was 17. I didn't exactly know what that meant. Right. But it was like, okay, like, you know what? This is rad. Like, this is the people that I skate with mm -hmm. every day. I trust Heath to take care of things. Makes sense. Like, let's go over there. And, like, Pierre and Robert Brink and Don Brown, they mm -hmm. were like, you know what? Like, those guys were like, we, here you go. Like, we're down. Like, yeah. let's do this. Right. And so, and they could put a lot of focus on you yeah. guys. Yeah, and, and they're like, you know what? Like, they pretty much like gave us like a lot of control over things, hmm. um, which was really rad for a skate brand to do. Sure, like, I, sure. I didn't know what to do really. You know, Mikey had a Mikey had a better plan, and Heath had a better plan. Mm -hmm. I was just a kid, like. So you mean if I like wanted to go to Arizona, like I can go? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, right, you'll you'll well, buy me a wait, ticket. You would just like I could just say like, hey, like I I can go on a trip, and like you guys would just let me go. Yeah. And like yeah, and I was like, what? Like this is great. Damn sick. Yeah. Like all right, whatever. So we like went and like we we kind of did our own thing, which mm -hmm. was really cool, and like I really liked those years. Mm. Um, Davis Torgerson. Yeah. Torgy. Yeah. Uh, Devon Calloway. There you so go. like we had like our squad and Kyle Leeper who's really mm -hmm. rad. It was like super fun skating with him and um we had like our little system there and it was great. And yeah. uh I actually had a couple shoes on at yeah. so, I remember you had like yeah. a red and blue one, right? Was that the was that a, I did. Yeah. yeah. I remember that one. Um and then yeah, so I was on I did a Vulcanized shoe, and mm -hmm. then I did like a kind of a takedown version of that, and then a cup sole oh, shoe. There you so go. I had three in the span of how many years? Two did that... years. Yeah. Wow. So it was kind of quick, like sure, whatever. Yeah. We were just like pumping out shoes, and I went pro at that time. Okay. Like, whatever. So, eighteen, I went pro. And yeah. Had some shoes. Got my name on a board. Like whatever. Things were, it was just, things were great. Like, things were great. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> whatever. I didn't like change anything I was doing. It just like things around me were were changing, which was rad at yeah. the time. You know, I was just skating, having fun. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then a uh, couple years later, I think it was just kind of time for me to do my thing, sure. too, because, yeah. like, you know, it was always, like, Mikey, Tyler, myself, like, we're doing this together, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I think, like, as Etni started to kind of, like, disperse a little bit. Mm -hmm. No, because Heath left, right? Heath left, yeah, yeah. Heath went to go be Paul's personal guy exactly yeah so yeah, um heath was gone it was just us and we were like trying to figure out exactly what to do or how to do it you know and mm -hmm. was jeff taylor there at the time jeff taylor was there yeah yeah. Mm. yeah yeah love jeff taylor yeah yeah it was great like he was super super good mm -hmm. um 
and we were just like, uh, well, what do we do? You know, like we talked about it and we all were like, should we do something else together and whatever? Mm -hmm. And at this point in my skating, you know, like things are just kind of taking off for me, yeah. you know? Like being the new pro on Girl. Mm -hmm. and, was this time um, of the Trans World video too? Trans World this? video, okay. yeah. I had the last part in the yeah. Trans World video. Right. And, like, and the things... Trans World videos at the time too were huge. Yeah. 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 When you had a Trans right. World part, you were doing it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I almost fell walking into the premiere because of how nervous I was. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you knew you were having the last part and everything. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I knew I had the last part. Um, Did uh, you see your part before the premiere? No. No. no, no. Who are you filming with, Jason Chris, or Chris Ray? Oh, Chris Ray. Right. Because they split. Actually, Jason wasn't there. He wasn't there. It was okay. um, John um, Holland. John yeah. Holland. Yeah. yeah. So it was oh. John Holland, Chris Ray. Okay. And so there were six guys. Yeah. And um, they split them up. We split them yeah. up three and three, and mm -hmm. it was uh, Corvette, Matt Miller, and myself with Chris Ray. Okay. And that was like our. I mean, our Chris crew. Ray, great, great guy to do a yeah. part with for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know what's. Taken. I always want to figure this out because um, so filming for that video, mm -hmm. you know, we're all AMS um, skating, or uh, you know, we're just like whatever. We're, we're skating, having fun. Yeah. So the first session I ever was on with Gravette. Okay. He tried to lip slide this hubba. It was a kinked hubba, but it had like a guardrail at the end of it. Hmm. So it was like lip slide, kind of thread the needle through, pop out. Oh. Yeah, it was like sick, and yeah. it was like almost doing it, whatever. And then he locked into a Smith grind one try, flew, hit his fucking legs on the guardrail, and flipped over. Oh, like, wow. Like, he ate shit. <laughs> it was a gnarly slam. Like, I thought he broke his leg. Okay. Like, I was like, oh, my God. Like, Damn, one just... of these, you know, where you just kind of do that. Right. Yeah. Look through your I'm fingers. Like, yeah. Oh, God. Like, I hope he's okay. You know, he ended up being fine. Mm -hmm. Um. But from then on, I had never seen him try a trick. Oh, he wouldn't skate in front of you? He thought I was the curse. <laughs> oh, no way. For the whole video, we would go to spots and like we'd skate them, whatever, and leave and he would take a filmer and go back. He would go back. No way. Yeah. Was, you know like, was he mean to you at all or anything? Never mean. No. no, it was never a malicious thing. It was never like, I don't want to skate with him. I don't want to be around him. He was just like, I can't mentally get over like trying something with you there gnarly wow. with like you there like, i mean flashbacks yeah. to that maybe yeah. he maybe when he was flipping he saw your face he uh, saw you doing maybe, that it was a yeah. whole but also too when sometimes when you get hurt really badly you like get rid of your shoes yeah. you change your board totally. you know what i mean yeah. like you yeah. flip your script right what, but what was weird looking back is like everybody in the video knew except for me are you <laughs> the whole time you didn't even no catch idea. on i was just like man he's just like whatever like he, was that he, the first time you skated with him the first time i ever skated with him. Oh, yeah. that's why yeah mm. and so like i wonder if that's still there <laughs> i still have never seen him like no skate we skating again Anything. yeah i mean he rips i was Dude, always a fan right like I, I, I was like kind of bummed because I always wanted to see him skate. Yeah. He grinded this double kinked rail in Australia that was like the cover. And like we went and looked at it and we, we were like, ah. Oh. And he was like, ah, oh, maybe. And I was like, what? You're really going to do Like, I would love to see it, whatever. Right. Didn't know. Nope. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. We went wow. to a ledge spot and I was trying to trick. And then I was like, where? where? Uh, like half the dudes are gone. This is weird. He went off to yeah, the. Went damn. back and did it. Well, you know what? If we ever have him on the show, I will ask him. Please. About really? that. Yeah. I will. Yeah. yeah. You never seen him since. You never uh, like been like, hey, dude, question. And I'm not going to get offended. Yeah. Like I, I, never. I honestly. It's okay if I'm the if sure. I'm his curse. Like I'm like uh, whatever. I'm, I don't mind. <laughs> right, right, right. But I'm like I. It's just I wonder if it's still there. Yeah, maybe. it's all mental. You know, what it I is. Mean? Uh, you know, like I said, shoes, board, Malto, get rid of them. Yeah. You know, you got hurt. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so if the, if this is the last episode of Nine Club, okay, you know <laughs> why. <laughs> Maybe he won't sit in that chair. Yeah, I don't know. know. Maybe the nine club whoa, goes down. Whoa, Maybe the out. nine club hits a guardrail and flips out. Who knows? Whoa. So yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, well you never know, no, man. Never, you never know. know. Well, our roofs are caving in. So well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there is a well, leak over there. Yeah. Well, listen, going back to the, um, you know, tr uh, transitioning from Etnies and all that stuff. Yeah. So, um, so Etnies kind of like, our, our group was kind of like, 
our friendship was there, but everyone was kind of like, all right, let's, let's figure this out. Like uh, ourselves. Ideal and, situation. You all go together, but unfortunately that's not how skateboarding uh, works yeah. most of the time. And then, uh, and I was in a spot, you know, I like had options. Yeah. And I was like, okay, like I have options. Like I want to ride for somebody that I'm like really stoked on, mm-hmm. like personally. And yeah, sure. As easy as that sounds, like was really hard. Um, I didn't know what I wanted. No. And I didn't know how I wanted to do it. I like, you know, it was kind of the first time as like uh, a skater, like dealing with like kind of the business side of mm-hmm. things. And I actually did it wrong. What do you a mean? A lot. It's just making promises to people and Ooh. not following through. And okay. just like, I just like, I, d- I didn't know how to communicate exactly how I was feeling. And, yeah. I, and I just like, I don't know. I uh, it, it was just not right. I hmm. guess I should say how I handled it. Okay. Um, because it was like a solid eight months of like trying to figure it out. Wow. Trying to figure. Yeah. And I'm sure you had like suitors that were and coming I, and after you. And I had you, people right? that I was talking to, and like some of them are friends, and, and sure. um, I just like whatever. So that was, that part, I like. It was a real learning experience for me, mm-hmm. and it was the first time like dealing like kind of the business side of yeah. things and. Um, I was young. No manager. No manager. No agent. No person. Was, was yeah, it? and it was like I had companies that I was talking to and, and people that I like let down, and I kind yeah. of feel bad about that. But at the same time, like I did not know what I was doing. I'm yeah. sure too. I was though, way in over my head. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. too. Though those, those people are happy for you now, and you know what I mean. Yeah. Like it's not, and every, everyone's okay, and I'm happy yeah. for them too. Was, was your contract up at at Nice? It wasn't up, but it was like, it's done. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. So like, you, you had eight months, you said, of deciding. Yeah. Was that mean you were you just weren't skating for anyone at that point? No. So I was on Etnies. You were on Etnies. I was on Etnies, but people were like gone. Like Mikey had left. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, Tyler was gone. Like it was like people went their own way. And I had eight months left on the contract. But I was like, you know, those guys were like, uh, like we want to resign you, and I was mm-hmm. like, but I I would like need to talk to other people, like yeah, because at the end of the day, like I needed to do what was right for me Absolutely. and figure it all out. Right. And I'm just saying that process. I made promises to people. I like you almost ended yeah. up on DC, right? I did yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, very close. Wow. But yeah. then, like last minute, you ended up on Nike. I actually flew to LA to sign a DC contract. No way! Yeah. Wow. Um, because ultimately when I landed in LA, Nike called me oh. and I reached out to Nike, the first shoe company. I, that was the first I, one. The first one okay. I reached out to, I was like, I want to ride for Nike. I hit them up and they yeah. were like, um, we don't know what we're doing right now. We just like, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, cool. All right. Sure. Um, yeah. Okay. So I reached out to some other people, yeah. whatever. I'm flying to LA. I land and I'm supposed to just go straight there and like sign my contract. Right. But I land and um, there's a four star trip to Palm Springs. And Uh-oh. they're like, hey, oh, you're in LA? They're like, you want to go to Palm Springs with us? And I'm like, hell yeah, I want to go to Palm Springs with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I'm supposed to sign this contract. So but, they're like, hey, uh, you know, <laughs> we'll pick wait. you up. I hit him up. I'm like, hey, I'll, I'll be down. Um, I'll be down next week. Like, whatever. I'm just going to go to Palm Springs for the weekend. Okay. Like, I'll be back. They're like, cool. In Palm Springs, Nike calls. Wow. And Nike calls and I'm like, um, (laughs) I'm like, uh, all right. I'm like, um, well, uh, at the time I had somebody helping me, Josh Landon. Okay. Um, and he was just kind of like, you know, he was there, but, and then he had some kind of like things and he got busy. So I just called him and I was like, what do I do? And he was like, you know what? Just go up there, take the meeting and uh, figure it out. Yeah, you know, right. I'm like, he was like, I can't go with you, but like, just go. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right. So I go up tonight. I'm like, I fly to Portland and I fully lie to like these guys. I'm like, oh, I'm just like, I need a, f- a few more days, like whatever. I'm right, in Palm Springs. Right. Fly to Portland, go up. And it's like me, I'm, I don't know shit (laughs) you know i'm 19 and i'm sitting and i'm just like 19 or 20 years old and i'm just like uh yeah so what's up like whatever like 
what do you guys want to talk you, about? You, you know, should've, you should have brought, <laughs> and they're like, brought Matt Lowe. This should have brought Matt Lowe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Been like, um, Matt Lowe might have ruined it though. That's so. true. That's true. <laughs> Commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Really guys? <laughs> really? <laughs> but, uh, so go to Nike mm-hmm. and like, it's, it's like everything that I wanted, sure. you know, it is like, this is like what I had dreamed of when I like, was like thinking of like going off on my own yeah. path, you know? And so like, we had such a great conversation. Mm-hmm. Everybody was super cool. And like, it was like, all right, you know what? Like it's time to be selfish. Like sure. I've done things with my, my group of friends and like, like we had a great time, but like right now, like this is my time to like do exactly what I want to do. And Absolutely. like, I was psyched. Yeah. And, and so I did it. Yeah. I was like, that's awesome. Fuck it. Like I'm on, like, this is what I want to do. And that conversation with the other side was so brutal. brutal. Oh, and geez. like, it was honestly so foul yeah. of me to do. Right. It was really bad. Um, you live and you learn, man. You live and you learn. You know, and like, it's... I feel bad about that even to this day. And like, I mean, that person knows who they are. I'm sure. Like, I'm really sorry. Right, you know? right. But it, I, I honestly had no idea just what I was doing and how I was doing it. But Hey, it all worked out for you, man. You know, and that that's the main yeah. thing. And it, you know worked, what I mean? and it actually worked out to that person I'm talking about, too. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you so go. So we're all, we're all fine. But, never, like, honestly, yeah. Nike was a company that, like, I wanted to be a part of yeah. forever. Right. You know, like, right. ever since P-Rod was on it. And yeah. So, I'm Costin and they ever so. trip you out the people? What do they call it? Like little Costin or something like that? They always called baby Costin. Baby Costin. Baby Costin. But they did that because Retta fucking oh, had Retta. some story about. He's like, Costin had a, like skated a 101 demo in in '99 and sweated on a t-shirt and threw it in a puddle that a girl pissed in. And two months later, Malto popped out. <laughs> <laughs> like that's his thing. Retta has one story for everybody. everybody. He tells the same story yeah. to everybody. Yes, yeah. he does. <laughs> right. Yes, he does. I love him to death. Oh my yeah. God, he's the best. He's the best. Has Retta been on here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Early he was on. one of the first on. ones. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, hey, well, that's great, though. You know what yeah. I mean? You did what you felt was right. Exactly. And everything worked out yeah. great. You and, know? It, and it was good. And and honestly, like, being on Nike and, like, doing this, this whole thing. And, like, mm-hmm. the path I took, I'm really grateful because, like, I did go through a crazy surgery. Like, I did, yeah. like, go through a, a really horrific ankle surgery. And that ankle, was that before you got on Nike or was no, after? No, that was after. Okay. Yeah. Which was, like, uh, really scary. <laughs> I mean, yeah. listen, man, yeah. we all get yeah. hurt. We tweak yeah. our ankles and everything, but you never know how serious an injury is until yeah. you go through it. And, and like, and I, it, you know? I literally like ripped my ankle off. Wow. Jeez, and it dude. was like, fuck. I said, wasn't there like you a know? sequence or something out there of it? I there was saw, video. Yeah. There was video. It, it's like a switch big spin or something, right? No, it was switch very, on, very, 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 And it was weird. I'm going this way, but back to my uh splitting my taint story oh like, yeah <laughs> when when i rolled my ankle like uh-huh. that bad dislocated i took off running oh. even on hobbling away so i i just no. was running and was like oh my god this isn't right and i i, I took off running but like didn't end up very far <laughs> you know what? Yeah, and like, i just fell down yeah, yeah. Oh, wow <laughs> you know you have the flight mentality you know they say fight or flight. Yep. You're the flight. Yeah, I you just. Flight. Um, I mean, I don't. I, I, I'm a flyer too. I feel you know, like I it's I almost stick around I'm for here. some bullshit. I, I feel like it's like little kid syndrome almost, where I like yeah. I get hurt and I like run to like I'm like I'm not hurt. Uh uh-uh. uh. Like no, nope, yeah. it's all good. It's all good. And then I'm like, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> I think Rob Diedrich had a whole. Um, video segment on ridiculousness of people just like oh, hurting themselves dude, and just we're getting that, up and running. footage of that stuff is really funny to yeah. watch yeah, 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 yeah. and that's totally me yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> totally I'm well like, i i do uh, remember because listen a, you you had video segments about your ankle you did rehab yeah. videos you did the, it's been talked about to death so, but go ahead i was I, gonna just say that like i remember you're coming back from that and skating with you yeah. at like Beebles Park and stuff. And I just remember it was just this process of like, I can skate again. Yeah, but I'm not even it takes at, time. Dude. I'm not even at the place of where I can be. It again. was gnarly. I would go to Beebles Park by myself mm-hmm. and set up a bench and like try to ollie over it. See? Like it was yeah. like, this sucks. Right. Like learn yeah. all over again. Um, 
And it was one of those things where I, I, okay, so I hurt my ankle. I got like reconstructive ankle surgery. Okay. Um, and I was bored out of my mind. Yeah. Um, I couldn't imagine. skate how I wanted to skate. I like couldn't like whatever. I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And part of that is I still wanted to be productive and like still wanted to like, like kind of get out there and do my job, I guess, as a skateboarder. Be like, seen. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I wanted to like, I just didn't want to like slack off and like whatever. So mm -hmm. I ended up doing like, you know, all these things about my injury. Mm -hmm. And I think I did too much. <laughs> 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 I did a lot. I remember, didn't you do yeah. one with Ty? And then you did I, a couple with I the barracks maybe. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, th I overdid that. But you know what though? Like thinking about it, looking at it like from yeah. your perspective, it's like, man, I have this like ankle injury. Yeah. It's, yeah. Two, you. it's two years, you and know, like, two years in the making and I can't like, I need to be out there. I need yeah. to do stuff, you know? And that was the only thing you could do. Looking right? back, I feel like I like, hammed it up in a way and I'm like yeah. fuck I was not trying to do that I was just trying to pass time and do what I could sure. do you but know? were people like were you like pro like proactively trying to find people to do stories on this or were people calling you to do no, stories people this? were calling me to do it yeah. and I was like oh yeah I'm down like whatever yeah. and I think I should have just been more selective than that and I just think it's like I, I don't know for me personally looking back I'm like did I make this seem crazier well, than it was or did was it well, like There's two sides yeah. to the story. There's yeah. two it's yeah. a double edged sword. You're just feeling so. right because there's people like Kelly who kind of love that kind of shit and there's people out there that are like Kelly that go through these things and like to see a person like you go yeah. through these things yeah. and then there's people like Raj who are like I'm not enough of this. Yeah. I don't know, Raj. I'm just uh, you were the only person he's here. Definitely so. I, I don't put myself out there. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, but like, but like yeah. Rod right now is going through that, and he's putting Dude, himself out there. And yeah. people appreciate that, and I, right. they can relate to it. Yeah, you know? I was just trying to like pass time and like do things and like be productive. Yeah, and, like it. it I think it just like was maybe a little overkill. Maybe this is my own like anxieties nah, coming out about it. But like, I've heard like, oh my God, you're back. I've heard that for like three years now. Right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. Every like, I'll post a kick. I'll post a kickflip on Instagram, and they're like, oh my God, you're back. You're back. And I'm like, you you're know, gonna get that for a long oh, time yeah. too. Yeah. I still get that from um, and maybe that for like the rest ago. of oh, yeah. my life. Yeah. Like, I feel <laughs> like I like might read a book, and they'll be like, you're what? <laughs> yes you're back and i'm like you're oh, reading <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean like i said i think it's a double-edged sword i think there's people yeah, who love right. it and there's uh, people who are like hey you know yeah. what enough's enough you know but, what i mean but yeah. just like totally. you don't know you didn't know what you were doing at that point like these people that are hurt don't know what to do either yeah and they're gonna look at they watch that and they're yeah. like oh that helps them kind of figure out what they got going on too i mean they're not probably not gonna make a documentary hey, on there's, themselves but maybe they will there's yeah. a lot of people out there that can't afford physical therapy and rehab and all that and then maybe Maybe watching you, they can learn something that you did in that. You know, I did. I did hey. get a lot of DMs about like, sure, which was gnarly too because, like, I went through this ankle injury and like mm -hmm. whatever. It was kind of like well documented, like how I got back and and people were like, dude, how did you like? What did you do? And like, which was rad because like I could tell kids like, all right, like this is what I did. This is what helped me, and right. this is what didn't help. But at the same time, they were sending me like the gnarliest ankle rolls oh. of all. Oh, fucking time and geez. i was like oh my god i can't like, do this oh, yeah. damn That's i was like yeah. cool. were they fucking with you or just saying like no, this is what i like, did this, this is what happened through. to me yeah. like Dude. can you like help and which I don't was like that shit it no. was not i don't like watching anybody get hurt dude. no it you know sucks. like i crazy. especially yeah. when you it know sucks. what's about to happen yeah you're oh, like you're gonna watch yeah. like oh something's not right you see yeah. a big rail or something you're like no look at me like <laughs> break my ankle yeah. Yeah. right i'm like Jeez. fuck but, but thanks for sharing a lot of good came out of that like i was like yeah. that sucked but okay well, um but with next the, time don't send the video but here just like, here's some advice yeah. Yeah. I, right when i got my hip surgery i was looking at like random people i didn't know they was looking on on youtube and they were like vlogging themselves and it helped me a lot going yeah, through it sure. i think people are gonna when they did the same thing with you yeah. i'm gonna say they and did you know what those oh, videos are yeah. there for ever now and somebody five years from now can go back and look I, yeah i guess so yeah anyway. i guess i'm just feeling a little stuff no i i yeah. get it i wouldn't worry man. about it at all. I would, yeah no right sure. right you did overdo it a little bit but <laughs> but hey you're also uh, hey, people are calling to do segments <laughs> yeah you're a big name sure. skateboarder and people want to dig into that life, you know was so. there any like 
from sponsors like so, hey so this is what maybe I, you should do something i would say I'm, I'm like really psyched on like the sponsors that i do have mm-hmm. and the path that i did go because yeah. they were all very understanding and cool. like very helpful like Dope. everybody like but from do, nike but doing those, to like, girl segments to mountain relevant. dew like they were like what what do you need yeah. from us right? and we're gonna make this happen for you so great. it was great like Nike, like set me up with doctors and physical therapists, and they like they, the they did it. They did it all, and and it's Nike, you know. They're yeah. like, they have hundreds of athletes sure. that have gone through anything you can think of. So yeah, they were very helpful. That's great. And they also like, like I went to Portland for months at a time. Oh yeah, and like did physical therapy, and like oh this, they have a whole thing up there. They probably. had well, they you know they have relationships with yeah, people okay. in, in the area. And, mm. Um, so, but they also set me up an office like that I could like go and like talk shoes. Like, oh, wow. like, like I know. went and talked about like the line and like whatever just helped anything I can help with. And like, wow. they had, uh, they actually had like, um, runners training on campus at the time too. And oh. I just kind of slid in some of their routines and like, oh, that, yeah. yeah. Wow. So it was, it was really good. It was great. And like, oh. how crazy is the Nike campus dude is that it's, it's crazy <laughs> yeah <laughs> Have you guys... it's, it's like bigger than college campuses wow. it's like i went there once and i was yeah. like what if anyone walks in there like i'm sorry what you were walk... you doing up there i was there on a skate trip with lrg uh, and we all went in there mm. like a long time ago mm. but it's like mm-hmm. if you don't <laughs> john brown <laughs> no no it was like years ago on lrg you know kelly had a little mini uh pen camera he was no but imagine yeah. but ima- i'm trying to i'm trying to imagine you though this is way before anything but uh i'm trying to imagine you as a little kid going up there for the first time going to nike and you're going to talk to him you imagine this this little kid walking well, a little, 20 this, years old right well, no, I mean, no, but he's well, still young yeah 19 8, 19 20 that's 19, still young 20. But, but like like but walking into this campus you're like oh yep i'll sign up with these guys right now yeah. this is yeah. <laughs> It was it was one of those things where like when I did walk in there and I sat on the table like mm-hmm. at, with with the Nike guys yeah you know like looking at them like there was this thought that popped in my head where like oh my god these guys are all like business graduates like they sure. all went to like crazy schools and- like way more intelligent than I am and like I was sitting there like uh. I'm like so. Um, <laughs> what do you What do you want? Right. What do you think? What are you thinking? You're like, like um, business class on I'm flights. Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> like what What do I do here? You know. Yeah. But they They were like really cool, and I just mm-hmm. like they They like all right. You know. At the end of the day, like they talked to me as like a person, and sure. it was great. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like those guys at the table, like really, like all right. They could have easily taken advantage. advantage easily, but right. they were like, you know what? Like you're a skateboarder, like whatever. And mm-hmm. I had Hunter Marira with me. Oh yeah, Hunter's great. He's yeah. the man. He's great. Yeah. He, I love that guy forever. But yeah. like he like facilitated everything, set it all up, Dope. and it was all good. Look yeah. at this. Eight years later. Eight years later. Wow, that's awesome. I I love it because I love the path that you've taken yeah. for yourself. You know what I mean? And like at the time. You know, nowadays, uh, people have managers and agents and all this stuff, too. Yeah. And so, like, to do this on your own and to make your own decisions, yeah. and it, it takes a lot of guts, you know? And, yeah. like, you don't know. You, you're going up to Nike. You don't know if, if the, the thing they're putting in front of you is, is a legit number yeah. or something. You know and, what I mean? Like, and I had, some, I had a guy helping me out. Like, Josh Landon was helping sure. me out. But, like, at the end of the day, like, I walked into those meet- that meeting alone, you know? Yeah. And right. like it was like scary for sure. I'm um very intimidating. But it's that. also skating was different then too. Yeah. You know? Right. It's like skating now is just agents and managers Bananas. like that stuff is like but at the same time standard. though the agents and managers like they help so much though you know what i mean they people do. can talk yeah. shit about all that stuff too yeah. but it's like have someone do your dirty work if you had a manager back then who was just like yep sean you go out yeah. and skate i got it you or know? Like, just it's it's any yeah it's just like it just helps the skateboarder the skateboarder should be out there skating you know what i mean yeah if i had a manager out during the audio days raj oh boy Ooh, let me tell you man yeah, well, yeah. what would have happened I would have got more money. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Those royalties would have been fatter. <laughs> and, and I was, and I was uh, listening to an experience show. Where, oh yeah. 
you you would not be here right now if you I, had more money. That's true. Yeah, that's that's right? true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he he watches the show or he listens. To I don't know. It's great. I, it's I great. asked Justin Eldridge what he wanted in his life. And he said a billion dollars. Now, now, I, now I know what you want in your life what? to not be here. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Man, you're you're right on the money. Yeah. You know? What's it? What's it like? Do you get like your own little personal thing to go to like Nike Town or like Nike outlets or something like that? Uh, so I mean, there is just like a a credit like to give to friends and family Ooh. and go to Nike stores. Friends and family. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So could we... Kelly, you're not no. really... <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Like, friends, though. You're not even friends. <laughs> yeah. Like, like my cool. real friends. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Sean, we're real friends, bro. Well, remember we shared the hotel room in uh, China? Oh, oh, my God. I it, did. Bro, no, not bunk beds, but at the goddamn, it had no goddamn windows. We were roommates <laughs> for three weeks in solitary confinement. Dude, yeah. this hotel room in China, we walk in... And we're like putting our bags down. We're like, this is this is cool. This is cool. And we're like, looking around. We're like, something's not right here. And we're like, place has no windows. Zero (laughs) windows. Two bedroom. Two beds. Like like no fucking windows. The beds. I swear to you, when you sat down, you thought it was a joke. Yeah. It was as hard as wood. Like. Every day I'd walk in, I'd sit down and be like, oh my God, it's it's, it's harder than I even thought it was the night before. Yeah. It is insane. Was it the hotel next to the cafe experience? Yeah. 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 We went through that together. Very bizarre. Yeah, very. And, dude, and we, all... watched, we watched, what, what what was the show you were on? Like Ricky Gervais. Oh, Ricky Gervais. Uh, traveling something. Yeah, Idiot like, Abroad. Idiot Abroad. <laughs> it was great. It was yeah. great. No, but, it was great. Um, Are we missing any more topics? Well, well listen, I go oh, ahead, Kelly. I, I was, uh, how did it, how did they tell you that you were going pro? I was just going to say that. Oh, okay. Sorry. Fucking Chris, guy's you, taking you, over my show. <laughs> I'm trying to think if like, shit. I'm trying to think. Because you and Mike both turned pro at the same time. The same. Well. Oh. Yes. Okay. But we knew at different times. Huh. So like. What do you mean? So like fully flared yeah. came out. Right. And so Alex and Mike Mo were like, hey, you guys are going pro. Right. But they weren't. They didn't tell me. And so, so Alex, Alex and Mike Mo were turning pro at the same time, right after Fully Flared. After Fully Flared, they told those guys, well, they pretty much like, we're going to turn Alex, Mike Mo, Sean pro okay. all at the same time. But mm. they, they like only told them, but they're like, don't tell Sean. Oh. Um, we're going to tell Sean at the end of this Australia trip. Okay. Um, Did Mike Mo keep that secret? So, <laughs> um, I can't imagine um, he did. So, as good of friends that we are, mm-hmm. and as much as we were hanging in Australia, right? Like, um, you know what? I'll tell the story just because I think it's it's, it's funny, good. Yeah. I've never told anybody this actually. Whoa, oh, wow! Um, but exclusive, so Michael exclusive. So we were the the second to last day of the trip uh-huh. we were out it was just me and mike mo and we were out at this bar because okay. like we could go drink because i was 18 mike mo was 17 he had a hairy chest like, yeah, <laughs> like, like, 20 right looked like a 30 year old whatever. <laughs> yeah. so um we we're at this bar and um we we're sitting there and like we we're just kind of talking about things whatever and mike was like um hey dude like i feel really weird but like i got i gotta tell you something and i was like uh i was like yeah man whatever like we're What's just up, hanging man? out and he was like uh uh, uh it, I, you're pro <laughs> like like they're gonna turn you pro and i was like what <laughs> right and i was like what is, what and he was like dude like so so like yeah and i'm like well what's like what's up with what yeah and he's like well yeah i'm turning i'm like they told me and I, i'm turning pro too like we're gonna turn pro together like so like i just want you to know like okay. tomorrow i i you know, just like the way he said it it's just like he was holding on to it for so long uh-huh. but t- the next day they were gonna do it the next day they were gonna <laughs> do it he couldn't wait that yeah. he waited the whole time the then, whole time and the day before but day- like you know what? I look back on it and I'm like, fuck, I mean, maybe you shouldn't have told me. But like, you know what? I was like, honestly, really psyched okay. to just have that moment with like the guy that I've experienced yeah. so much with. You right, know what I mean? Right. Like, 
honestly i was like that is so crazy like and then we talked about it for for a while that mm-hmm. night and it was like it was really like a special like okay. moment yeah. it was like like holy yeah, shit like this you- is the same guy that i was talking to about like nervous about like assigning yeah. nervous yeah, about sorry. like what did eric costin have in that suitcase right. you know what i mean it was like this like this this is like i felt like the universe like it was only right that it happened sure like that yeah and i was like oh my god like holy shit like it's a cool what? moment like, to have. It was a cool moment yeah, yeah, to have. Yeah, yeah. Right. And like you guys are both like not only are you turning pro, like he's turning he's pro. He's turning yeah. pro, so yeah. Like, <laughs> so we were doing this together <laughs> yeah. now. Right. Like yeah, yeah, finally yeah. to him, he was like, We're doing this together. You know, for me it was a complete surprise. Um, and it was only us at that club at that moment okay. or at that bar. Yeah. I'm not a club. Right. Like, <laughs> just come on. We're not Justin and Jeremy yeah. over here. <laughs> we took a yellow cat. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so um so like did he yeah. si- did he say just act surprised and he was like when... yeah and so like there was like this big uh dinner at the mm-hmm. end of the thing and sam does a speech sam Smythe does a speech after he's every uh of tour. gathering and yeah, yeah. so he's Christmas like dinners and you know thank you all like yeah. you guys are amazing like travel the world whatever this is my favorite trip but whatever however he said worded it sure um, and then he was like you know I just want to know, I just want to tell everybody, Alex and Mike Mo, like, we're turning you guys pro. And everyone's like, yeah, whatever. And I was like, sick. And you're just sitting there like, I'm like, all right. Yeah. And he was like, oh yeah, Sean, you too. No and way. everyone was like, because everyone had already known about Alex and Mike Mo. It was like a thing. It was kind of planned. And then so all, all focus turned to me and like, I'm a bad liar. Okay. Really bad life. <laughs> yeah. So I was just like, I didn't know what to do or how to act. And no. I, I just like looked down and like, I was like, how do I act excited? Like what? <laughs> I already uh, know this. I'm already I was like, uh, I mean like, oh, oh, like, thank you. Like, yeah. Like pretty much like, it, I mean, it was a great moment regardless because sure. like everybody was there and like, I got to thank them and like, the, it was it such was a, a cool, cool, moment. Yeah. cool opportunity. Yeah, but the day before I the day before you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh I, like, man, s- no one knows. Like Smythe, no nobody one knows. knows. No. The, no, now they no. know. Now, now you already knew. Now they know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody knew that Mike Mo and Alex were turning. But mm-hmm. you, they kept it from you too. They didn't. You didn't know well, either. Well, so at the time of like turning pro, you know, like you had your video part to like you go sure. pro in. And so Mike, Mo, and Alex had fully flared, and they were oh, with yeah. pretty much the whole girl squad. But I was over here with uh, Trans World, so like right. I was a little removed from that situation. Hey, but even the Trans World video, though, like I said before, no. big deals. Yeah, no, big I deal. was I was psyched on that, and I'm not comparing it. I was just saying they were with the bulk of girl. You know uh, right. what I mean? Right. And like that wasn't like. I just wasn't around it. So like, they were like, you know, fully flared was happening and they're seeing these like kids develop right in front of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like, these guys are going pro and like, mm-hmm. and then, and now came out and they're like, all right, we're just going to turn all three of them. Pro. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Which was great. That's great. Yeah. That was... Yeah. How long been on girl now for 10 years? I've been pro for pro 10 for 10. Years. Wow. Yeah. I've been crazy. pro for 10 years. That's But you've been on girl for crazy. what? 13 then? 13, I, I got on 12, when I 13 was... years? 15, 16, yeah. So, man, yeah. look at you. That's so huh? I know. Now I'm like, it, now, now there's the, now there's new kids. I know. And you're the old guy. I can yeah, call, you're the old guy. I can <laughs> yeah. Call them the kids. <laughs> the kids. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, the kids are over there. Right. You know, even right. though they're like adults. <laughs> I love it, bro. I can't wait to see what you do next. I'm Any excited. new things coming out? What do you got? Any um, new uh, recovery videos um, or anything? Yeah. Any new, uh, just, rehab know, videos? I'm just really psyched on uh, this marketing, um, the taint pad. Oh, know? the ta- yeah. Taint we'll pad. talk after. Oh, you f- <laughs> the, the, the nine club taint yeah, pad. The taint pad. Yeah, you know. Um, the pad for taints. Yeah. No, I asked yeah. all connector. <laughs> right. Um, I'm just I, honestly just skating and okay. having fun. Good. Like whatever, um, yeah. girl is coming out with a video. Yeah, soon. they are. They are. Um, it's more focused towards the, the kids. kids. Yes. Is there yeah, a name for the video? So, I don't know if there's a name for the video. Mm. To be honest, um, we're just skating. Yeah. You uh, filming for it? Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, cool. I think we're all gonna have like a montage of stuff. So I'm just okay. trying to like, honestly, it's just something to skate for and yeah. to 
to travel for and it's been really fun and Sick. to getting getting to know the newer guys on girl it's right. been great great crew simon great and crew yeah man it's child, like man child. No, yeah. was he's not crew. a man child's been on the show before right uh he was a little inebriated <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh i actually gave him a breathalyzer test on yeah. the show i think he blew a point uh, no a seven seventy two point he blew one. it he blew it yeah. yeah he uh it's definitely over he's, the women. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah no um, but it's a great crew and yeah he, yeah I mean, him, I'm really a big fan of this guy, Niels Bennett. Yep, Niels yeah. Bennett's great. He just Love had a clip that went kind of viral yesterday. That fakey big flip 50. Oh, yeah. Like, I would have never thought about even trying that. You know what I mean? That was done really a, well. The, Seriously. We call him the professor. Oh, the professor. Yeah. He looks like he'd be a professor. He does. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. He, huh? I only know, man, I don't know Niels. I only I only know uh, uh, Manchild and Simon. And there's Griffin Gas. Oh, the Griffin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that dude. Griffin yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. gnarly. Yeah, yeah, he's like real deal. Man. Yeah. I mean, all those, all those kids, the kids, all those young adults, the kids. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Out of all the video parts that you've had, what's the one that people re- uh, reference to you the most? Cause I would say pretty sweet. Uh, pretty sweet for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause we didn't even talk about pretty sweet all really. Oh uh, yeah. Pretty sweet. Mm. Oh, yeah. Cause that pretty sweet. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty sweet yeah. was a just shit like. It, it was like, I'm trying to think of how to explain. Um, it was like as militant and fun as it could possibly be. Like okay. Ty was on one. Sure. Like I was worried. Ty about, wanted to get it done because he already knew Brain Farm was like his next thing. You know, Ty, yeah. Ty had some plans and, and he went on to, to do like great things after. Yeah. Yeah. But like he was so committed to like filming Pretty Sweet too. Like mm-hmm. he was like let's oh he doesn't slack when he has a job and it was scary like ty i would say was like i've that that guy was like shotgunning monsters oh yeah (laughs) oh yeah he was just like he was going like he was just energy drinked like cracked out like just like driving lighting up spots like doing whatever he had to do and like some of those trips were like really grueling because he'd skate till 2 a.m yeah. up at 9 a.m but and then you get home and i'd look back and be like you know what like we filmed a lot of great. shit yeah. like yeah. we got a lot done and it was really fun like yeah. for how tired we were and but think of how many dudes are on those trips he's just given the opportunity for all you guys to actually skate and yeah. and that style like i love mm-hmm. i loved that like i loved working like that yeah and so like ty like i I mean, I'll thank him again here for yeah. like what he did for us for that video, and it was uh, it was really amazing. Yeah, we had a great part. Yeah, yeah, yeah great that part. part was incredible, you know? dude. I always um, thought you know it's like out the switch flip on that gap. I don't. It was like the randoms looking. Gap. Oh, I was there. Like, you, that you, oh, the flag, the kind of like it, in, the, like, in, in like the desert or yeah, something. Yeah, it was yeah. weird because like that gap, it like. It was like a weird gap. Like you had, you cannot tell like how big it is it was all, or, or how small it is. No, no, I don't know. it was yeah. big. It, okay. it was big. It was like, okay, a sizable gap, I don't think gap, there was whatever. that much run up either. Was there? Like, Did you have to like throw your shit down and yeah, go? Yeah, like, it, it was one of those like slab to slab, like yeah. just in like whatever. But the way Ty filmed it, it looked like I switch flipped like over mountains in a, in a, in a <laughs> Dude, way, right. you know, it was kind of like up and, and out. But that clip got a lot of um comments to me like, yeah people yeah. were like dude that switch flip was rad and i was like oh. it was a good switch flip. <laughs> i was like <laughs> you didn't I just, I, I, no, I just like i was like oh maybe i could uh, switch flip this yeah. and switch flipped it like whatever i didn't think it was like that you did it pretty quickly yeah, yeah. i think it was like third try yeah wow like, i wasn't yeah. like it was just something I, I we were just there and i did we laughed like it wasn't anything whatever. i was trying to nolly back heel it i didn't do it though <laughs> I would love to yeah. see those attempts. Could you imagine? Could you <laughs> imagine? No, no. Roberts was trying nolly back heels. Maybe. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Oh, on flat, on flat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's, yeah. What, that's it what it was. That's yeah. what it was. That's yeah. what it. Well, I could. You did a nolly back heel remember. rolling up to it. Dude. Yeah, yes. testing it. Yeah, you know. Chris is do skating back and forth, skating flat ground while he's trying to go down it. Sounds like it something a, I would do. A, yeah, but and then the the. There was that one rail. I think it's is it might be in Kansas City that you front crooked it. It's like a 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that Kansas we, we, City? Yeah. And you caught it's, the football after. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's called um it's the landing is at this place called Fun House Pizza. Mm. Which was really cool because like we'd go skate the rail and we'd go to Fun House Pizza. Oh, there you go. That was <laughs> rad. Fun House Pizza. But, but that um, didn't look like an easy rail to skate. No, <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I actually like I t- was trying to front crook it, whatever, and like I was like, all right, I'm really gonna stand on this one, and mm-hmm. it grinded, and it like slipped off, and I hit my chest on the end of the Ooh. rail and oh. flipped off into the parking lot. Wow! But I was just so like pissed about like the video and like myself and like I don't know everything just like I got mad and like it was just like got up and and did it actually like a couple tries later. And then we went to Fun House and like uh, I was like in pain. Got a, <laughs> got a slice. Like, oh, man, I caught the football and I was like, fuck. That well, was a good he, clip. Here's a question. for How do you feel about Jamie Foy kind of taking over the, the front crook? Because you were front crook. You he still were. Is. He still is. Dude. Okay, okay. You're He's, right, Kelly. You were the front crook master. And then all of a sudden here comes this Foy guy uh, you taking know your shine. Pinching. You know what? Like the the dos pinch thing was kind of oh yeah the dos of course so so but i will say like jamie does it so fucking he's amazing yeah he's great and i don't claim shit like that's not my trick like whatever i do them a lot matt low claims Uh, matt low i'm like (laughs) yeah (laughs) we're actually you're you're kind of i was skater of the year a while ago (laughs) i kind of look at you you're you're more on like the back over crooks like yeah. that oh, was that's more, true. But you do the front crooks a lot, but that was more of like, I mean, it's technically So I got associated with back over crooks a lot, but I mean, I don't know. I just like doing yeah. them. So I just did them. And, do them um, well. uh, whatever. And like that, I don't care. Like Jamie doing it. Like, I think he does it so sick He's, and yeah. he is like so gnarly yeah, at it. Sure. Like the front crook El Toro is fucking crazy i know i i honestly think that he is going to do a front crook kinker yeah like sure front crook down the kink to flat again to pop out or something yeah like he's gonna do it he could do anything he wants yeah i want to see that seeing him skate i'm so impressed i'm such a fan me too yeah yeah and it's like yeah he front critics but come on the guy can do can do anything he was on girl (laughs) flow for a while was you remember, yeah, like oh, way well, we back. I don't remember. Fuck to that up. <laughs> bad. I, he yeah. might have been like rep flow or something, but I would see my damn ams back in the day. Mm. And with a girl board? He's always rocking girl board. Yeah. shit. I'm sorry, Jamie. Like, damn. Oh. Well, he, he looks good. He on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Death wish. Death yeah. wish. Yeah. Listen, Sean. I'm so stoked you finally fucking made it to the nine club, man. Hey, man I kicked I'm it with stoked. Raj, yeah. myself, and Kelly. Huh? Yeah, you had a good time, nice. right? Yeah, I had a great time, you know. Hey. Hey, Kelly, you know, I wouldn't I, I'd have to say my friends from Kansas City are big fans of yours. Uh, oh, you know? well, thank you. I have Tell to me. give Hunter and Rod a shout out. Oh, there you go. Big hey. fans. Hey, thank you. Yeah. That's crazy to hear. It's We're, I'm s- yeah, they're psyched. <laughs> thank you. Dude. Yeah. By the way, your Kansas City homies are the best. You have the best crew out there. The best. Crew. It's yeah. seriously. Whenever we'd go yeah. out there and skate with all of them, like the most welcoming, friendliest. They just want to go skate, have fun. Best dudes. And that was seriously. That was like a. That was actually a hard part about moving out I, to I California. Bet. I bet. And it happened like not all that long ago. I moved out maybe three and a half years ago. You were always on the move though. I was always traveling yeah. and I never had a problem with traveling, but like, um, I love my friends in They're Kansas great. city. They're and great. Like, we J-Lo. A, I mean, so oh, many good Joseph people. Lopez, yeah. my dude. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you still have your place? It, yeah. Still have my, still have my loft there. Is this Jesus yeah. from there too? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. My homie. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude. Yeah. My dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was in, yeah. Oh, before I forget this story. Go ahead. <laughs> oh man. Go ahead. So there's this pro skater, right? Who yeah. uh, also models. Okay. Um, this has nothing to do with the, the, the story, but okay. we were, uh, so I was at this um, bar mm. with my girlfriend. Um, Kansas City or LA? In LA. Got you. And I still lived in Kansas City at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I was doing, you know, like this, I was probably 23, like I've been a pro skater for five years, whatever. So we're at this bar. And, um, 
this lady like is at the bar uh and she's like talking about skating and i'm like oh really like oh, i'm a skater or whatever like we're talking about stuff she's like oh i'm a manager to this guy and she's like but not for skating for modeling i'm like oh that's cool and whatever so we're talking and then she's like um oh like oh well, where are you from and i was like kansas city she was like oh man kansas city and i was like yeah I'm like yeah what's wrong with that it's great like yeah. whatever and she was like Oh, man, but aren't you, like, so happy you live in L.A. now? <laughs> and I was like... Typical fucking... And I was like, well, well I, I actually don't. Right. She was like, wait, wait, where do you live? And I was like, I, I live in Kansas City. And she was <laughs> like, oh, my God. Are you... Like, can can I give you something? She was like, can I give you money? Like, she was like, what? I, I want to help you. Yeah, what? right. And I was like thinking, I was like, <laughs> what? what is this lady what? talking like, about? Like what? Like it was almost like it was like charity. Like you don't live in LA. What? And I was like, uh, and at the time, if I was Matt Lowe, I would have been like, I drive. <laughs> <You were right. laughs> I actually own two houses and drive five series. Like, the, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Matt Matt don't Lowe. worry about me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But like <laughs> in my house, like no, no, I don't, I don't want anything. She was like, "Here's my card. Like, call me. Like, I really want to help out your situation. Like, I really whatever." And I was weird. Like, Whoa, this is crazy. What? Like, what? so people like think about Kansas City sometimes and think of a, it's like a shithole. But like to me, and like it's a great place. Like, it's yeah. an amazing city. It's a beautiful city. It is it's, really yeah. it's great. It's what a really shit ton nice. of fun. Like yeah. I'm actually like. Kind of bummed I live in L.A. sometimes. <laughs> there you go. There's so am I. I want to go back home. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I always have a great time when I... I always yeah. like Kansas City. It's one of my favorite places. Oh, Boulevard. Boulevard yeah. Wheat. Yeah. Boulevard mm. Wheat. Dude, yeah. they have good barbecue out there, don't they? Well, some say the best, you know? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> fucking good. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> some say the best. Yeah. What's a, what's a place called? The uh, Oklahoma Joe's. The gas station or was not. that's the gas station. Gates yeah, or something? Or? There's Gates. Gates. Yeah. Gates. Yeah. Really good. And then there's like the real old school, like Obama eats it when he comes to town. Oh, wow. Arthur Damn. Bryant's. Arthur Bryant's. Yeah. Let's go to Kansas City. Dude, let's do a nine club at you guys Escapist. Wanna do, at Escapist. I'm sure Escapist is going to do some great event and they'll want to bring us there. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Do we got to pay for you? Yeah. Hell yeah. Of course. What? Come on, bro. All right. Let's get Nike to sponsor it. I don't leave this chair without some <laughs> cash in my pocket. Exactly. You know? Yeah. I mean, if the viewers only knew how much I paid to be here right now. I, yeah, <laughs> right. He brought some chips. Right. And, he brought some chips and guac. I for did us. bring yeah. chips and guac yeah. for you. That guys. was very yeah. good, actually. Yeah, I uh, forgot to eat. But listen, man, I'm going to give you my card after the show too. If you ever yeah. need any help getting All out right. of Kansas City, right. you let me know. I appreciate okay. that. I want to help you. Know. you. No, seriously though. Dude, I'm stoked you came on the show. Finally, dude. Hey, come back anytime you want. We also have the experience show where we just talk shop, skate shit. You know what I mean? Sit yeah. in on an episode with us. Let's I get him a shirt to. or something. Dude. Oh, like, let's get. He's oh. wearing a shirt inside let's, out right let's now. Let's go. Okay. Hey, I I wore my shirt inside out for years, Raj. Really? Oh, that's a great look. A couple days, you know. Uh, what do you you? Wear medium? Medium, yeah. Medium? Okay. Medium. Get him a medium, black, just some mugs and shit like yeah, that, bro. Yeah. Oh, will you please? Can, I mean, can I just have this? You could have that one, All too. Right, yeah, but give him another, give him a Switch Flip Manny mug. I know he'll appreciate that. What? We didn't even talk about the Switch Flip Manny. Just did. There we go. That's how I get Always. it into every show now, because of the mug. I will say, like, uh, I've been a Switch Flipper, like, my whole yeah. life. It's, like, one of the flip tricks, like, I'm really comfortable I know. with. You have a great Switch Flip. But, like, I could not switch flip up the stage it's a t it's, it's tall it's tall it's man. tall you have any tricks on the stage never film a trick on the stage it's interesting yeah i thought you maybe would have done something no but honestly i was like damn like i was like trying to switch flip up it yeah. for a little bit and like i like switch flipped up once and i was like damn damn Robert <laughs> switch flip manual this shit that's right that was yeah. in 2003 yeah. thank you kelly man blue shirt yeah you went to the yeah. blue or you want a different color? Kansas no, City blue's blue. great. Are you yeah. sure? Royals. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, here you go. Here's a blue Nine Club shirt for you. Thank available you. on the nineclub.com. Get yours while, uh, get there while you can. Yeah. Nine Club ha hat for you. I know you're a hat oh, wearer. Oh, great. and the, uh, the switch flip. Oh, there's the switch flip there's manual. There's a switch flip manual yeah. mug, huh? And listen, I got a special present for you. <laughs> OKC. 
Mitchell uh, Ness hat. Huh? This Oklahoma. is my team, right? That, I know that's your team, dude. Look at that. Paul George. Oh yeah? Russell you think you're gonna Westbrook. you think yeah. you're gonna do it this year? And huh? Russ we trust. Lakers I got think. a good squad. Hey. Yeah, Ernie kinda... said it best. In Russ we trust. In Russ, okay. Yeah. yeah. Just like you guys say, in Kelly we trust, right? We've never said that. No. no. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Sorry, Kelly. Uh, it's all be, good. It's all good. That must have been a nightmare yeah. you were having. <laughs> but listen, there's a thunder hat for you, huh? Look at that. This is great. There you, oh, he's going to put it on right now? He's going to put it on? KC? Yeah, OKC? Yeah. He loves OKC, huh? Very proud. How's it fit? Looks good on you, bro. I think it looks great, right? Looks good. Yeah. There you go, dude. You know, when you wear your hat fours, you look younger. Do Is that I? weird? Yeah, yeah, that's a trip. Well, I also got a haircut. Oh, yeah. Up here, <laughs> you know? I was like, nine club, I'm getting trimmed up. You're getting trimmed up. Yeah. Your mom doesn't cut your hair still? It's, it's She the cut my brush. hair forever, but I moved out Time. here and I had to... To change you it. To you know, on. it was a sad day for the both of us. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> when your mom would give you the uh, bowl cut, would she actually use a bowl? No. No? No. It just, you know, it just ended up like that. She can eye up the she bowl pretty good. She can eye up the good. bowl, yeah. yeah. I thought my mom gave me great haircuts, though. Dude, yeah. I thought you have great hair. All this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bowl cut, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 